What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 18 Centigrams, Chapter 306 Be rude to the supreme, be punished. In the chat group, Li Zan said noncommittally. Maybe, but I am more inclined to another guess, that is, the Yaozu Heavenly Court does not have so much energy to deal with an irrelevant Queen Mother of the West. Li Zan. After the Queen Mother of the West handed over the token representing the head of the female fairy, the luck on her body that represents the head of the female fairy no longer exists, and the heavenly court will not be of much benefit to her. Li Zan. Also, the Queen Mother of the West is not weak. In addition, the great powers of Hongwang have the ability to self-destruct, and the heavenly court of the demon race doesn't want to make enemies for no reason. Li Zan. They dealt with Dong Wanggong because Dong Wanghong robbed them of luck, and the same reason they dealt with Shi Wangmu. Since Shi Wangmu has given up the snatch, they don't have to let Shi Wangmu and them die. Li Zan. What's more important is that at that time, the demon clan heavenly court had a powerful enemy, the Wu clan, and they didn't have so much fighting power to hunt down and kill the queen mother of the west. Junte doesn't exist anymore. Outside world. Li Zan invited the queen mother of the west and Da Cheng sacrament, who covered the world, to go to the forbidden area of life with him. The two were surprised when they heard Li Zan's suggestion and quickly discouraged Li Zan from being impulsive. The forbidden area of life is not so easy to eradicate. There are too many strange and powerful beings in the forbidden area of life, and it may not be enough to fill in two or three great emperors. The duo suggested that Li Zan adopt the strategy of boiling frogs in warm water, using generations of great emperors to consume the limited number of ancient supreme beings. Li Zan smiled slightly and said that the two of them don't have to worry, he dared to come because he was completely sure. If nothing else, Hong Yun and Zhao Gongming in the chat group can easily solve these things. It doesn't matter if they don't help. If Li Zan can't beat him, he can retreat at any time. It's okay to leave with the Queen Mother of the West and the Holy Body of Da Cheng. However, since they had scruples in their hearts, Li Zan no longer insisted, and said goodbye to the two and set off for the restricted area of life. Boom! As soon as Li Zan entered the restricted area of life, he felt that powerful spiritual thoughts erupted from the depths of the restricted area of life, shooting towards him. A deep voice sounded from the depths of the forbidden area of life, Outsiders, what do you mean? After realizing Li Zan's great strength, those ancient supreme beings who cherished their lives did not act too tough. Li Zan smiled and said, I will wait for the blood to become an immortal. The ancient supreme being who talked to Li Zan suddenly became angry. Audacity! Do you think I can't wait for the ultimate sublimation to fight you? If this seed is sublimated to the fullest, it can easily return to its prosperous state and suppress you as an alternative enlightenment. The great emperor is as easy as the palm of your hand. Dot for flowers Li Zan's body, soul and fighting spirit have all reached the level of the great emperor, but because he did not integrate the imprint of Tianqin, he lacked a resonance with the universe of heaven and earth, and lacked the advantage of borrowing the power of heaven and earth in his gestures. Although these ancient supreme beings did not have the imprint of the heavenly heart either, but they who had merged with the imprint of the heavenly heart were able to skillfully control the power of heaven and earth with their experience, so they would be very conceited and look down on other enlightened people. Suppress me. Try it, Li Zan said eagerly, he slapped his palm with a big hand, a powerful energy condensed into a handprint, and slapped towards the depths of the forbidden area of life. Insanity. A tall figure flew out from the depths of the forbidden area of life, shattered Li Zan's energy handprint with a punch, and killed Li Zan with a long bronze sword. To be rude to the supreme, be punished. The ancient supreme spoke very arrogantly and slashed at Li Zan with a sword. Above Li Zan's head, a huge magic weapon with a round sky appeared. It was the king of artifacts from the sun god world, the eternal kingdom. The violent thunder force spewed out of this magic weapon. The ancient supreme's bronze long sword was swept away by the thunder, and then a bridge on the other side descended from the sky, killing the ancient supreme at once. Superior. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 307 It's not weakness, it's arrogance, in the chat group, Hong Yun said in surprise. This is the end. The ancient supreme is too weak, he was killed in one blow? Li Zan. It wasn't weakness that killed him, it was arrogance. If she was as high as possible, it would not be easy for me to kill him. Now, his strength is at most one third of mine, and his weapons are at most equal to a quarter of mine. Li Zan. Only with his strength, when facing me, he still carelessly underestimated the enemy, and it is not surprising to be killed by me with one blow. Be prepared. The chain effect of killing the ancient Wakshichi Supreme is about to appear. After the ancient production was killed by Li Zan, one after another momentum erupted in the seven forbidden areas of life at the same time, and one after another ancient spiritual thoughts came out from the recent life. You passed. You've crossed the line. You want to eradicate the restricted area of our lives? I'm afraid you don't have the strength. Do you think you can do things that the great emperors and emperors have never done since ancient times? One after another, powerful spiritual thoughts erupted from the restricted area of life, threatening Li Zan. Li Zan was not afraid, calmly took away the blood and the magic weapon of the ancient supreme, and smiled proudly. 
I want to become an immortal, and I will sacrifice myself to help you supreme. An ancient supreme divine sense asked suspiciously, do you have a way to become an immortal? Li Zan said indifferently. Of course. There are no immortals in this world. I think it is the problem of this world. The laws of this world are suppressed and newcomers are not allowed to appear. Strength breaks the shackles of the world. If you want to accumulate enough mana to break the world's shackles, ordinary methods will naturally not work. Fortunately, there are you ancient supreme beings in the forbidden area of life. Your energy-filled blood essence can definitely help me do this. As soon as he finished speaking, Li Zan made a bold attack, killing him in the depths of the restricted area of life in front of him. At the same time, eight powerful auras erupted from the forbidden area of life, and a total of eight ancient supremes came out of the forbidden area of life. Join us. This guy's strength is no less than that of the great emperor Wook. It is impossible for one person to beat him, unless we choose to be sublimated. It is impossible to sublime to the extreme, and we will also die. It is better to join forces to attack. The big deal is to launch a dark turmoil after the event to replenish the essence of life. The eight ancient supreme beings communicated with each other, and the powerful momentum pressed towards Li Zan. Li Zan was not afraid, and sacrificed the king of the four artifacts, and displayed it together with the imperial artifact he had just captured. His aura exploded and he took the initiative to attack the eight ancient supreme beings. Boom boom boom. Li Zan fought with the eight ancient supreme beings, and even suppressed the opponent faintly. Noticing this scene, the ancient supreme beings in the other restricted areas of life couldn't sit still. As the saying goes, the next Li Zan is going to deal with them, isn't it? At the moment, several other ancient supreme beings in the restricted area of life were dispatched one after another and killed Li Zan. Come and help, or we won't have any good fruit to eat. There is something wrong with our state, and it won't last long. If you want yourselves not to suffer heavy losses, come and help us quickly. The eight ancient supreme beings suppressed by Li Zan opened their mouths one after another, calling other ancient supreme beings in the restricted area of life to help. Seeing the appearance of other ancient supremes in the forbidden area of life, an ancient 3.7 supreme who was suppressed by Li Zan laughed and said, I admit that your strength is very strong, but can you deal with dozens of ancient supremes? Li Zan said dismissively, Do you think you are the only ones who can call people? Look at me. Li immediately used the undead summoning function of the Chad group, and soon the Sun Emperor and Xiao Zan appeared by his side. Xiao Xuanzhan showed an imposing manner that was no less than that of the ancient supreme, and the Sun Emperor even revealed the strength of the Wu Great Emperor. Sun Emperor. Impossible. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 308 Unhappy. The ancient supremes did not know Xiao Zan, but many of them knew the Sun Emperor. After all, these ancient supreme beings are ancient, and many even date back to the age of mythology. When some ancient supremes sealed themselves up, the Sun Emperor was not born. Some ancient supremes even watched the Sun Emperor reach the top, how could they not know the Sun Emperor? I watched you die with my own eyes, how could you still be alive? An ancient supreme who had dealt with the Sun Holy Emperor cried out in disbelief. No, the state of the Sun Holy Emperor is not right. He doesn't seem to have a body now, everyone should not be deceived by him. A Sun Emperor without a body? Nothing to be afraid of at all? After realizing that the Sun was only left with the soul of the Holy Emperor, the ancient supremes suddenly became full of confidence. After all, the main body of the cultivation world is the body, and the body is the source of their strength. Ah! Oh, it seems that the Emperor has been underestimated, the tower is here. The Holy Emperor of the Sun smiled slightly, a little annoyed in his heart, and waved his big hand to summon his Great Emperor's magic weapon. The Great Emperor's magical instrument refined by the Sun Holy Emperor is called the Sun Tower, which is closely related to his heart. At this time, he was summoned from the air, and immediately broke through the space and came to his side. It seems to be a stone pagoda carved from a piece of stone, and the sun shines brightly on it, and the strong sun power spreads out from above. With the wave of the Sun Holy Emperor, the Sun Tower suppressed the ancient supremes on the opposite side. The terrifying power of the great Emperor Wook was vividly displayed at this moment, directly making the three or four ancient supreme beings on the opposite side unable to move. Not good. This is the power of the Wook great emperor, how could the Sun Emperor have this power? Sun. There is something wrong with the state of the Holy Emperor, what is going on here? The ancient supremes were shocked, how could the Sun Emperor have the same power as before his death? This is not scientific. In the chat group, Xiao Zan said, Master group leader, we need more helpers. We can't fight against a group of ancient supreme beings on the opposite side. Although Li Zan and the Sun Emperor can fight a few times, it is impossible to suppress or even defeat each other. After all, there are too many opponents. Even if there are a few people on the opposite side who are not afraid of death, they will be the ones who will lose. Li Zan said indifferently, Don't worry, I will find some helpers from Duba World. After getting a clone and sending it to Dou Po World, Xiao Chen, Kun and Ji Yuan, who had already been promoted to Dou Emperor, appeared in Zixian World. As Dou Di, they need some life and death struggle to adapt to their strength, and Li Zan's invitation is just right for them. 
Although several of the Dao Di had fought against each other a few times, because they were not enemies of life and death, the battles between them were just for sparring, and the improvement of their own strength was not obvious. For the Dao Di who had fought all the way up, only a real life and death fight can make them excited, make their blood boil, and make their strength significantly improve. Lord Li Zong, thank you for this opportunity. Xiao Chen opened his mouth with excitement, and killed the ancient supremes without saying a word. Because there is no magic weapon of the same level, it is impossible for Xiao Chen and the others to single out three or four like the Sun Emperor. But by virtue of their strength equivalent to alternative enlightenment, it is still possible for one to top two. Let's help too, if nothing else, the pattern of the whole world will be changed because of this war. On an ancient star of life in the universe, the Queen Mother of the West said to the sacrament of great perfection beside her. They were not optimistic about Li Zan's plan to deal with the restricted area of life, but Li Zan's performance made them change their minds. With the power of Li Shenshuan, it is not impossible for the restricted area of life to disappear from now on. Although the ancient supremes in the forbidden area of life are huge in number, they are not in harmony. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 309 No problem, leave it to me. As long as the ancient supremes stand up to the best of seven or eight who are not afraid of death, they can use their absolute numerical advantage to completely defeat Li Zan and the others. But which of the ancient supreme beings who can live to the present is not cherishing life? It is difficult to make them sublime to the utmost. What's more, human nature is inherently not suffering from widowhood but suffering from inequality, which is an inferiority that no one can solve. If they want the ancient supreme to sacrifice themselves and give other ancient supreme a chance to survive, they would rather choose all the ancient supreme together. In the chat group, Red Cloud Shinobi couldn't help saying, Master Group Leader, you can call me out. These ancient supreme beings are too damnable, I really can't stand them. Seeing that when the ancient supreme beings fought against Li Zan and the others, they did not forget to plunder the essence of life from the nearby ancient stars of life, Hong Yun, a good old man, couldn't bear it. Although he suffered a lot because of his good-natured personality and died, it is not easy for him to change his personality all of a sudden. As the saying goes, the country is easy to change, but the nature is hard to change. Seeing that the life forms on the ancient stars of life were plundered by the ancient supremes with a big hand, the anger in Hong Yun's heart couldn't help soaring into the sky. Li Zan. Good. Li Zan was naturally happy to see Hong Yun's initiative to invite Ying, and he summoned Hong Yun without saying a word. After the red cloud appeared, he immediately showed everyone the terrifying power of the quasi sage, and with a wave of his big hand, he crushed all the ancient supreme beings in front of him. Master, this is the blood essence and magic weapon you want. With a big wave of his hand, Hong Yun gave Li Zan the blood essence and the magic weapon left behind by the ancient supreme beings. How is this going? Everyone else was dumbfounded, and looked at Hong Yun in disbelief. What happened to this dear fellow? With a wave of his hand, the ancient supremes exploded collectively, and then turned into balls of blood essence. What kind of Taoism is this? Stronger. In the chat group, the Sun Sage Emperor. Is the strength of the big red cloud so strong? Even the ancient supreme can wave his hand to obliterate it. Hong Yun said disdainfully. What ancient supreme? These guys are not worthy of the title of supreme. A group of scum who are not even immortals, they can be wiped out by a simple breath. Li Zan. Indeed. The world in which Hong Yun lives is a world full of spiritual energy, and every practitioner there is very strong. A practitioner like Hong Yun with excellent footwork has the power to surpass ordinary immortals when he transforms himself. The Holy Emperor of the Sun said speechlessly, Is the immortal so worthless in the prehistoric world? Hong Yun. Of course. The immortals you are talking about should be true immortals. There are also earth immortals, heaven immortals, Zan immortals and golden immortals. Jin immortals are divided into Taiyi, Diluo and Hunyuan. Saint Emperor Sun. Is there so many divisions in the realm of immortals? I wonder if the realm of immortals in my world is also divided like this. Li Zan. The realm of immortals in your world is divided into real immortals, immortal kings and immortal emperors, among which are also mixed with immortal Hungchen immortals, quasi-immortal kings and quasi-immortal emperors. Hungchen immortal means that the red dust becomes immortal, and the strength is close to the quasi-immortal king. Xiao Zan. Quite immortal king, quasi immortal emperor. This reminds me of the realm of half step fighting saint. Strength is really a difficult thing to draw, and it is difficult to describe a person's strength in a standard realm. There are so many unpopular realms. Li Zan. Don't say anything, at Hong Yun, help me refine these ancient supreme, Li Zhao Zhao, surprises and magic weapons. I want to quickly improve my strength. With your ability, you should be able to help me quickly improve my strength. Hong Yun. No problem. What are you doing in such a hurry to increase your strength? Li Zan. Because my current strength is still very weak, with my current strength, how can I eliminate flies for you? Your strength is no longer possible to increase. Help me improve my strength to avenge you. Hong Yun. It makes sense, no problem, leave it to me. I can break the shackles of this world, and I will help you become a fairy, Jia. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running.
Chapter 310 Minecraft With the power of quasi-sage level, Hong Yun breaks the shackles of the laws that cover the world, and refines the blood essence left by many ancient supremes to provide energy to Li Zong, making him immortal in the world of red dust. He smelted all the artifacts left by the ancient supreme, and fused countless immortal materials into one furnace, and together with the four kings of artifacts, they turned into an immortal king-level gourd artifact. This magic weapon was made by imitating my own red cloud gourd, but its function is completely different from my red cloud gourd. The above arrays are mainly the abilities you are familiar with, such as Thunderpool and Yuan Magnetism. Hong Yun looked at the magic weapon of the immortal king that he had created, and said to Li Zan who was beside him with great satisfaction. Li Zan got up and looked at the sky, and asked the red cloud beside him, Can you sense other worlds outside this world? The world of shading the sky, like the world of Duba, has its own superior world. In the chat group, Xiao Zan asked curiously, What kind of world is the superior world of the 577 day world? Li Zan replied, the superior world of the world that covers the sky is the perfect world, that is, the world where Lei Di is. Lei Di said differently. My world? Li Zong. That's right, the world that covers the sky is the nine heavens and ten places of your world. You should understand when I say this? Lei Di was surprised. How is it possible? Lord, can you tell me what's going on here? Xiao Zong. I also want to know about the perfect world. Li Zong. There are many ancient worlds in the perfect world. Immortal realm, exotic realm, Tibetan land. Nine heavens and ten realms used to be a powerful world no less than fairy realm. Later, they failed in the battle with foreign realm and were beaten. It was torn apart and became nine heavens and ten earths. Lady. Yes, this is indeed the situation in my world, but how did the nine heavens and ten earths become like this? The nine heavens and ten earths no longer exist, and only the boundless cosmic starry sky remains. Li Zong. That's because after your death, the perfect world went through the chaotic era. The cause and effect of countless eras were all settled in the chaotic era. Countless immortal kings and giants shot, and finally even broke out. Immortal emperors or even battles between immortal emperors. Lady. Frank immortal emperor and immortal emperor, to be honest, I have no concept of these two realms. After all, I was not even an immortal when I was alive, and I can't imagine how terrifying the powerhouses of these two realms are. Li Zong. If the immortal king makes a move, he can carry Tianyuan of border imperial city, carry the original imperial city on his back, and then transmit the power of one hand to nine heavens and ten places, and capture a large state for BFDH, to his side, go with. Li Zong. If you don't have a concept, then I'll tell you this, if a fairy king makes a move, he can blow up the universe that covers the sky with one hand. Hong Yun. The strength of the immortal king is a bit interesting, how does it compare to me? I can also destroy this world with one hand. Li Zong. Who can say this, why don't you go and compete with the immortal kings? I guess the immortal king should not be your opponent. But if it is the corpse immortal emperor of the perfect world, he should be able to compete with you. Lei Di. Who is immortal emperor corpse? Li Zong. The corpse immortal emperor was the first person in the perfect world to become an immortal emperor, but the moment he became an immortal emperor, he was contaminated by a drop of black blood from above. The corpse immortal found that the emperor himself was difficult to remove. The influence of this drop of black blood, so he sealed himself in another section of the boundary sea. Li Zong. That drop of black blood from the gods polluted him, causing a huge amount of dark matter to appear in his body. The nemesis of the nine heavens and ten earths, alien, is a world polluted by dark matter. Lei Di said in shock, There is actually an immortal emperor behind the foreign land? Li Zong. Yeah, exotic is the people cultivated by the corpse immortal emperor and his minions. How could the nine heavens and ten earths defeat them? Even with the help of immortal territory, it is impossible. Lei Di couldn't help but ask, What happened to immortal emperor corpse? Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 311 One Drink and One Peck, it has its own fixed number. The golden lion Shaki smiled bleakly. I can answer this question without the owner of the group. The long-established and famous figure like Immortal Corpse will undoubtedly become a stepping stone for the son of destiny. Li Zong. That's right, after the rise of Wang Tian Emperor, he became the Immortal Emperor, and after he swept the foreign land, he killed the corpse Immortal Emperor. What do you think the battle of the Immortal Emperor I was talking about was going on? Battle between. Lei Di. The corpse Immortal Emperor was finally solved by the Tianjiao of the perfect world? Then I should not intervene. Li Zong. I think it's better for you to intervene. Do you think Huang Tiandi can solve these troubles without paying a price? The whole perfect world has collapsed, okay. Li Zong. Nine heavens and ten earths no longer exist, leaving only the universe where the boundless starry sky is located. The realm of immortals is torn apart, and now even a single immortal cannot be cultivated. Li Zong. The fate of other great worlds is even more tragic. The fate of Shen Yu and nine heavens and ten earths is not bad. After all, these two worlds have relatives, friends and childhood memories of Huang Tiandi so they were taken care of by Huang Tiandi. Lady. What happened to the worlds that were not taken care of by Huang Tiandi? 
Li Zong. Who knows? Maybe it doesn't exist for a long time. Even if it exists, it is just one small fragmented world after another, like a cage that cannot communicate with other worlds. Lady. If Hong Yun were to clean up the corpse immortal emperor, wouldn't the result be the same? Unless Hong Yun has the strength far beyond that of the corpse immortal emperor, their battle will just as well cause the perfect world to collapse. Li Zong. No, it won't. The current corpse immortal emperor is incomplete. You forgot what I said before? The corpse immortal emperor didn't voluntarily be contaminated by that drop of black blood. Li Zong. Even he himself is very resistant to that kind of darkening. For this reason, he stripped the flesh and blood from his body that was not blackened, sealed it and sent it to a distant place, and then sealed and imprisoned his contaminated body. Li Zong. If it weren't for the self-seal of the corpse emperor, even if his body's primordial spirit was incomplete, he could easily smash the perfect world into shreds. Lei Di. Will the incompleteness of the corpse immortal emperor affect his combat effectiveness? If this has a great impact on his combat effectiveness, why would Emperor Huang Tian pay such a huge price when he defeated him? Li Zong. When Huang Tian Di first saw the corpse immortal emperor, he was just a quasi-immortal emperor. Not only that, he also brought over the pure body and spirit that the corpse immortal emperor had exiled from. Read. Huh? Ask for flowers. Li Zong. Don't be surprised, after all, it was the seal set by the immortal emperor. After swept away the dark minions of the corpse immortal emperor, who was invincible except for the corpse immortal emperor, he found that he couldn't break a rotten wooden box. What do you think he will do? Li Zong. He didn't even know that the pure flesh and soul of the corpse immortal emperor was sealed in the wooden box, and he kept it as a treasure that could be used as a trump card, and took it to the depths of the darkness to solve troubles. Li Zong. Then he saw the corpse immortal emperor who sealed himself. At that time, the corpse immortal emperor was completely blackened, but he couldn't break the seal left by him before blackened. Li Zong. However, after the pure flesh and spirit that he had separated appeared, the two parts of the broken body and the spirit were attracted to each other, and the reorganized corpse immortal emperor was restored to its integrity and strength. Lady. Damn it, if Emperor Huang Tian didn't bring that rotten wooden box, maybe the perfect world wouldn't collapse. Li Zong. How can it be so easy? Don't forget that the Wang Tian Emperor at that time was only a quasi immortal emperor. If it wasn't for the enormous pressure that the complete immortal emperor of the corpse had put on him, I'm afraid he would not have become an immortal emperor at all. Lady. One drink and one peck, you have your own number, I understand. Please help me, fellow Taoist Hong Yun. Go on. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 312 Are you sure to solve it? The perfect world, opposite the sea, the dark ancient land. Li Zan came here with the help of Hong Yun, and everyone in the chat group observed the situation here through him. Zheng Qizi. Is this the advanced world? It's really scary. A sea composed of broken worlds, this is really. Emperor Sun. Those broken worlds are not simple, and they may not be smaller than our world when they are in their prime. If our world goes to ruin in the future, will it come here too? May 77 inches Li Zan. No, in your era, Jiahai no longer exists. Xiao Zan. Is this the birthplace of darkness? There is no one. Li Zan. The only life here is the corpse of the immortal emperor and his three quasi-immortal emperor minions. The rest are fallen people infected by dark matter. They are hidden in a nearby void and basically never appear. Lady. I've heard of the Jiahai, and it is said that many immortal kings and giants have crossed the sea. Li Zan. Because there are rumors in the perfect world that there is a way to become an immortal emperor on the other side of the world. Of course, some people cross the sea not to become immortal emperors, but to solve the dark turmoil from the root. Holy Emperor Sun. The dark aura here makes me feel very depressed and uncomfortable. Is it because my practice attributes collide with the darkness? Zhang Cheesy. Probably not, because I also feel very uncomfortable here. Outside world. Three powerful spiritual thoughts flew from the depths of the dark ancient land and appeared to observe Hong Yun and Li Zan here. Seeing this, Hong Yun sneered coldly, and with a big wave of his hand, he shattered the flying spiritual sense. There were three muffled groans in the depths of the dark ancient land, and then three imposing emperors walked out from the depths of the dark ancient land, looking at Hong Yun and Li Zong with indifference and alertness. Three Taiyi gold immortals, it seems that the immortal emperor is just a big luo. Hong Yun looked at the three dark emperors who appeared in front of him, with a disdainful smile on his face. He stretched out his palm and gently grabbed the three dark quasi-immortal emperors in front of him, and suddenly the whole world roared and boundless power pressed towards the three dark quasi-immortal emperors. Ah! The faces of the three dark quasi-immortal emperors changed completely, they felt the danger of their lives from Hong Yun, and they burst out with all their strength to fight without saying a word. Bang bang bang! Even if the three dark quasi-immortal emperors exploded with all their power, they were still a little underwhelming in front of Hong Yun, and were easily suppressed and eliminated. Go, go and meet the dark immortal emperor! The rays of light flowed in Hong Yun's hands, refining all the blood and souls of the three dark quasi-immortal emperors, and into Li Zan's body, and then took Li Zan to the deepest part of the dark ancient land. 
A huge throne appeared in front of them, and on the throne lay a powerful being with only corpses left. The corpse was breathing, the infinite dark matter was exhaled by him, and a large amount of life essence was absorbed by him. Lei Duran said, He is using the essence of life to eliminate the dark matter in his body? Li Zong. That's right, the devastating storm that appeared in the world sea was caused by the breath of this corpse immortal emperor. The three dark immortal emperors couldn't find a way to advance to immortal emperor, and they regarded the dark immortal emperor as their guide. Li Zong. Have you seen the scriptures in front of the immortal dark emperor? This is the scripture of immortal emperor level. But the price of cultivating it is to absorb the dark matter. This is the trap of immortal dark emperor 3.7. Lady. Are the three dark quasi immortal emperors all cultivating these dark scriptures to be blackened? Sun Sage Emperor. It's absorbing the life essence again, and I feel that they are no different from the ancient supreme. Li Zan. Red Cloud, are you sure you can solve it? Hong Yun. This dark immortal emperor is just a golden immortal of Great Luo. He should have been contaminated the moment he became a Great Luo. The black blood that contaminated him is not simple. I am afraid it is the blood of a quasi sage peak or even a saint. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 313 What are you doing at East Blue? A Da Luo Jinxian who is incapable of itself is naturally not a quasi sage opponent like Hong Yun. The corpse immortal emperor was refined by Hong Yun with powerful mana, and the blood of darkness in his body was also burned. Lei Di was also summoned by Li Zan, and brought Hong Yun and Li Zan back to the Nine Heavens and Ten Earths to cleanse the Chongsheng family in the Nine Heavens and Ten Earths. Zheng Qizi. The Chongsheng family was supposed to be the main force against the foreign land, but I didn't expect them to collude with the foreign land. The Sun Emperor. There are such scum in any world, but it is so chilling for the Chongsheng family to do this kind of thing. Ordinary cultivators are still fighting against foreign realms. I never imagined that the descendants of these heroes would be like this. Li Zan said disdainfully. Take it down. The members of the Chongsheng family are the same as ordinary practitioners, and they have the same chance of finding refuge in a foreign land. It's just that those ordinary traders will not be cared about, and many even practice 15 cultivation. Those who don't even have the qualifications to betray. Lady. In any case, these longevity families must be punished and purged. Li Zan. I agree with this. They have gained huge fame and resources because of their longevity family status. They are ready to rebel after taking the benefits. The people of the longevity family will die. Hong Yun. Clean up the longevity family in the nine heavens and ten places, and then go to destroy the dark and exotic realm created by the dark immortal emperor. With the many resources in the perfect world, it should be possible to make the lord of the group a golden immortal. Li Zan. Forget about Da Luo Jingxian. The world is too oppressive in this world, I'd better go to the prehistoric world to advance to Da Luo Jingxian. The laws of that world are more complete, and the benefits of advancing there are even greater. Lei Di. What about the hole on the top of immortal emperor corpse's head? Hong Yun. Didn't I seal it up? There will be no more dark blood flowing out of it. Lei Di. I mean, why don't you go to the so-called, God? Li Zan. I am afraid that above the gods is a huge world no less than the prehistoric world. I plan to go there after exploring the prehistoric world. Because I don't know much about the supernatural world, the benefits of going there are not as good as going to the prehistoric world. There are many benefits. Li Zan. Speaking of this, at Hong Yun at Zhao Gong Ming at Bai Gu Jing, you three give me your world pass. Ding. Hong Yun sent an exclusive red envelope, Hong Wang World Pass, to the group owner Li Zan. Ding. Zhao Gongming sent an exclusive red envelope, Function World Pass, to the group owner Li Zan. Ding. Beigajing sent an exclusive red envelope, Westward Journey World Pass, to the group owner Li Zan. Hong Yun. Didn't the three of us come from the same world? Li Zan. The three of you are indeed from the same world, but from different periods. It seems that my guess is correct, which is very good. Compared with the barren world of Journey to the West, it is the rich world of the Great Wilderness that makes me feel more interest. Li Zan practiced for a period of time in the perfect world, and with the help of huge training resources, he turned himself into the pinnacle of the fairy king, and then decisively entered the prehistoric world. On the vast and boundless continent, Li Zan appeared out of thin air in a cave dwelling full of spiritual energy. This is my 577 fire cloud cave. Hong Yun appeared beside Li Zan, looked at the surrounding scene with emotion, and said that this was his cave house before his death. Li Zan didn't spend much time in Hong Yun's cave and soon left here with Hong Yun to explore the opportunity that belonged to him in the great desolate continent. It didn't take long for Li Zan to realize that he was still in the Lich Tribulation, and that Hong Yun had been dead for less than a hundred years. This discovery made Li Zan extremely excited, and without a word, let Hong Yun take him to East Blue. Hong Yun wondered, why are you going to East Blue? Li Zan said with a smile. Of course I'm looking for opportunities. There is a fragment of chaos on East Blue, which contains the three islands of Peng Lai. There are a lot of training resources on it, which can help me quickly improve my strength. With strength, I can help you take revenge. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running.
Chapter 314 Chaos Treasure Hong Yun had no doubts about Li Zong's statement, and without saying a word, took Li Zong to East Blue to look for it. After a lot of effort, he finally found the piece of chaos. Breaking the restriction and entering it, Hong Yun sucked in a breath of cold air. This chance is too big, right? The spiritual energy on the three islands of Pung Lai directly condensed into a liquid, which was much more advanced than his Huian cave. The ground is full of plants full of spiritual energy, and all kinds of precious elixir are everywhere. Sangwang Shenshui, there is a pond full of this top-level healing medicine, isn't it too extravagant? Sangwang Shenshui, the top holy medicine in the prehistoric world, is made up of sunlight Shenshui, moonlight Shenshui and starlight Shenshui. If these three kinds of divine water are used alone, they can cause huge damage to the body, the divine soul and the true spirit. But if they are used together, it is the supreme holy medicine that can live and die. Even the destroyed ginseng fruit trees can be brought back to life with only one place of sanguang shenshui. Exquisite innate spiritual root Wang Zhang Li. Eating one of these things can become a Da Luo Jingxian. Huang Zhang Li is even more precious than genuine Daxian's ginseng fruit, and the Queen Mother's peach is incomparable to it. 10,000 years bloom, 10,000 years bear fruit, 10,000 years ripen, and three 10,000 years get nine fruits, how could it not be precious? Regia peach and ginseng fruit are incomparable to Huang Zhang Li in terms of growth time and number of fruits. Although Huang Zhang Li's results are long and the number of results is small, it contains the Tao that Da Luo Jingxian needs to understand. After the ordinary immortals eat it, they can directly become the golden needle with the help of the Tao Law and the huge spiritual energy inside the fruit. 12th grade pure world white lotus. This is a top grade innate spiritual treasure. I didn't have this level of magic weapon energy when I was alive. A white lotus flower floats on the surface of the pond composed of sanguang shenshui, exuding a mysterious power that purifies everything. The white lotus of pure world, the red lotus of karma, the golden lotus of merit, the green lotus of good fortune, the black lotus of annihilation, and the purple lotus of reincarnation, these are all transformed from the lotus seeds of the 36th grade chaotic clear lotus. The above is invincible. Hong Yun's eyes are a little green. Why is he just an undead now? If he is still alive now, with the help of the huge resources on the three islands of Peng Lai, it is not impossible to cultivate to the peak of the quasi sage. A chance. Li Zong looked at the various treasures on the island and said with emotion. Then he unceremoniously took off a Wang Zong Li, swallowed it, and began to refine it. After eating nine Wang Zong Li in a row, drinking a lot of Sangwang Shenshui, and sucking the liquid aura on the three islands of Peng Lai, Li Zong finally stopped cultivating. Relying on the accumulation of these cultivation resources, Li Zan successfully advanced to the Daluo Jingxian, and the next thing to consider is to kill three corpses to prove the Dao. Hong Yun pondered. I know the method of killing three corpses to prove the Dao, and I can give it to you. The top grade Shenshan Lingan Wang Zong Li and the twelfth grade Jingxi Balian can help you place your obsessions, and you also need to find a third spiritual object to place your obsessions. However, without Hongmeng Purple Qi, simply killing three corpses can't be sanctified, unless you can find the Hongmeng Purple Qi that I lost, but this matter is not small. But even if you are not sanctified, destroy the flies, it's not impossible. Li Zan said with a smile, to become a saint by virtue of merit and by beheading three corpses requires a grandiose qi, but it is not necessary to prove the Tao with strength. I can choose, Li Zhao Zhao, to choose the path of proving the Tao with strength. Hong Yun shook his head and said, proving the Tao with strength is too difficult, even the god tier Pangu failed. Where did you get the courage to prove the Tao with strength? Li Zan stretched out his palm, and a bead appeared in his palm, looking unpretentious, like an ordinary object. Hong Yun wondered. What is this? Li Zan said indifferently. The most precious treasure of chaos, chaos pearl. There is a huge world of chaos in it, and if you open it up, you can prove the Tao and become a golden immortal of primordial chaos. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 315 Hong Yun looked at the chaos bead in Li Zan's hand in disbelief. This humble little bead is really so powerful, but how could he see it as an ordinary bead? Red Cloud Shinobi kept asking, Where did you know these things? I don't see the magic of this bead at all. Li Zan said indifferently, The gods are self defeating, if not, this chaos orb would have been taken away by the god tier Pangu long ago. Back then, the god tier of Pangu could not find the chaos orb, so he had no choice but to open up the world in a chaotic world. After I became a golden immortal, I found this bead on the ground beside me. I didn't realize it was a chaotic bead, I just thought of the possibility. So I picked it up and took a look. A smile appeared on Li Zan's face. I didn't expect that 577 I was a blind cat and met a dead mouse. I'm so lucky. With chaos beads, it is not a delusion to prove the Tao with strength. Hong Yun pondered. With your current strength, can you open up the world in chaos? The world in the chaos pearl is a chaotic world, right? With your current strength, it is difficult to survive in the chaotic world. Li Zan said indifferently, My current strength is naturally not enough to break new ground, but soon I will have this strength. Hong Yun asked curiously, what are you going to do? Li Zan's eyes flashed, and he said slowly, 
First cut three corpses to raise your strength to the pinnacle of Quasi Sage. Then use the twelve capitals of the Wu clan to condense Pangu's body, and the accumulation of BFDH is enough to open up the world. Mana. Hong Yun stunned and said, The twelve capitals are gods and gods? Li Zan said with a smile. That's right, this is one of the top formations in the prehistoric world. Twelve ancestors and witches can join forces to condense the body of Pangu and explode the power of a saint. Hong Yun. The twelve capitals of gods and demons, it seems that only the twelve ancestors can use it. This formation is useless to others. Li Zan. That's not necessarily the case, as long as the twelve flags of Dushan are made from the blood of the twelve ancestors, they can replace the role of the twelve ancestors. This set of flags will become my life magic weapon. Hong Yun. Why is it a magic weapon of birth destiny? Li Zan. Only by turning the flag of the twelve capitals into my natal magic weapon, can I merge with the body of Pangu summoned by the great array of the heavenly gods of the twelve capitals, and use its power to open up the world. Hong Yun. We've been here for so long, I don't know how the lich show is going. Li Zan. Go and see, don't waste your time. After scavenging the three islands of Peng Lai, Li Zan and Hong Yun left here and headed towards the area where the Wu clan was located. While the two were driving on Xiangyun, Li Zan obtained the method of beheading three corpses from Hong Yun. Hong Yun. Comprehension of the method of cutting three corpses cannot be obtained overnight, it takes time to comprehend. Li Zan. What I'm missing the most right now is time. Hong Yun. That's right, do you have any other way? Li Zan. Yes, there are two most mysterious things in the prehistoric world, one is merit, and the other is luck. In the chat group, Howard Stark couldn't help but ask, what are merit and luck? Other worlds don't seem to have such things. Li Zan. Other worlds also have such things as luck, but it's not as obvious as that in the prehistoric world. Let me explain it in a simpler way. Merit is experience points, and luck is buff. Li Zan. If I can get a lot of merit, I can use the merit to exchange for the perception of killing three corpses, and I will cut three corpses directly. If I can get a lot of luck, my understanding speed of cutting three corpses will increase by leaps and bounds, comprehension greatly improved. Hong Yun. Di Jun and Tai Yi want to rule Hong Wang, and they are also planning to use the huge luck of the Hong Wang Emperor. Use this huge luck to help them improve their understanding and combat power, and even achieve Hun Yuan without Hong Meng Purple Chi. Li Zan. In today's prehistoric world, if you want to get luck, you have to build up your power and compete with the two Lich clans. It's not realistic to get luck, but it's easy to get merit. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 316 What is that chance? Hong Yun wondered. Where is the quick way to gain merit? Li Zan said with a smile. Humans, humans are the protagonists chosen by heaven, and their every move can be favored by heaven. They can make torches, clothes, and houses to attract heaven's merits. Do you think this is a good place to obtain merits? Zhao Gungming. The group leader is right, the human race is indeed the protagonist of the world. If you start from the human race, it should not be difficult to obtain merit. Hong Yun. What do you want to do? A smile appeared on Li Zan's face. The development of the human race is too slow. I created an avatar to guide them. Food, clothing, housing and transportation. The human race still has too many tools yet to be invented, so let me help them. After creating an avatar to go to the location of the human race, Li Zan and Hong Yun continued to rush towards the location of the witch race. On the way, a golden celestial virtue fell from the sky and fell on Li Zan's body. Obviously, Li Zan's incarnation was acting on the side of the human race. Cut. An illusory blade appeared on top of Li Zan's head, slashed at Li Zan, and a wisp of obsession flew out of Li Zan's body. The twelve-pin pure world white lotus appeared next to Li Zan, caught the obsession that flew out of Li Zan's body at once, and turned into Li Zan's good corpse. Hong Yun said with emotion. The merit is really easy to use, and it was cut off so quickly. The human race is worthy of being the protagonist of the future emperor of heaven, and it is too easy to obtain merit from them isn't it? Which territory? Li Zan and Hong Yun changed their faces and came here to hide their identity. They secretly found a great witch and asked to meet the Zuwu. The straightforward Da Wu snorted coldly. Is Zu Wu the one you want to see? You come here secretly, but you don't look like a good person at first glance. Quickly explain your intentions, otherwise I'll be rude to you. Li Zan smiled and said, We appeared secretly because we didn't want to be discovered by the demon clan. We're here to help you deal with the demon clan. Are you sure you won't let us see the ancestral witch? The big witch said proudly, We Wu tribe can defeat the demon tribe by themselves, why do we need your help? The arrogance of the big witch made Li Zan feel a little melancholy. No wonder the witch tribe's character is to die with the demon tribe in the end. Li Zan reluctantly said, we can help you reduce your losses, do you want to let the witches kill more people because of your arrogance? The big witch hesitated for a while, and said to Li Zan, Wait, I will report to the ancestors. It didn't take long for Li Zan and Hong Yun to be invited to the Pangu temple. It seems that the ancestors are still sober, different from those arrogant witches. 
The Pangu Hall, where the head of the Pangu god Tyr was transformed, hides the heart of Pangu that gave birth to the Twelve Ancestor Witches. This is the old lair of the Twelve Ancestors. They all practice here on weekdays, and some important matters are also discussed here. Point Forte. That Taoist, you said that you can help us deal with the demon clan? You better not lie to us, the price of teasing our demon clan is very heavy. Di Zhang, the elder brother of the Twelve Ancestors sitting in the first place, looked sharply at Li Zong in front of him. Li Zong said indifferently, how about helping you Wu people have one more saint? As soon as these words came out, everyone was shocked. Di Zhang said with a serious face, that Taoist, do you know what you are talking about? Li Zong said indifferently, of course, if there is no surety, I will not come to you. A young girl couldn't help but ask, how do you want to help our witch clan have one more saint? Li Zan looked at the girl with a smile and said, of course it's because of you, Queen Zuwu. This prehistoric world has a great opportunity that belongs to you. Once you get it, you can become a saint. The hot-tempered ancestor of fire, Wu Zerong, couldn't help but ask, what is that chance? Li Zan smiled and said nothing. Di Zhang said solemnly, tell me about your conditions, how can you tell us about this opportunity? Li Zan said with a smile, I have heard for a long time that the twelve capitals of the Wu tribe is a first-class formation, and I want to refine a set of magic tools related to this formation. Go. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 317 After Sanctification Di Zhang frowned and said, The twelve capitals are gods? With all due respect, only our ancestors can use this formation? Li Zan said with a smile, I plan to refine the twelve pole ray flag, and use your blood as a guide to imprint the twelve capitals on it. Replace your twelve ancestral witches with twelve pole ray flags, and let this the array method is running. Di Zhang even if you do this, the one who can be summoned by the twelve capitals of heavenly gods is just an ancestral witch. If you want to summon the real body of Pangu, only our twelve, five seven seven, ancestral witches can do it yourself. Ro. Li Zan laughed. I don't need to summon the real body of Pangu, I just want to collect this top level formation. Di Zhang said indifferently. As you please, only the twelve ancestors can complete the formation of the twelve heavenly gods and demons. Even if others get the formation, it is useless, because this formation is tailor-made for their ancestors, so the twelve ancestors are not mind this array of rumors. Li Zan continued. Besides, I also need to take some spiritual treasures from the treasure house of your witch tribe. I want to cut off three corpses, and I need the help of Lingbao. Di Zhang said without hesitation. As long as you can help Hutu girls become saints, I can agree to all of your requests. A little bit of blood that doesn't matter, a set of twelve gods and gods that don't matter, and some spiritual treasures that some clans can't use. If you can use these prices that are nothing to lose to the witch clan, in exchange for a saint from the land, the twelve ancestral witch will not hesitate at all. Li Zan said with a smile. First take me to choose Lingbao, and then I will take Wang Zuwu to get a chance. Di Zhang shook his head and said, No, you tell the opportunity first, and then we can pay you. Li Zan said indifferently. Okay. Today's prehistoric world is flawed, and dead creatures lack a place for reincarnation. Later, Wang Zuwu can incarnate in reincarnation so that he can obtain boundless merits, and condense the primordial spirits with merits and become holy. As soon as these words came out, the faces of the twelve ancestors change. Later Wang Zuwu murmured to himself, So it is, no wonder I always feel that I have a mission. Di Zhang frowned and said, After the earth sister incarnates in reincarnation, isn't the twelve ancestor which is not complete? Without one ancestor which is twelve gods and gods, can they fight against the monster clan's Zhou Tian Xingdo grand formation? Li Zan said indifferently, the queen's ancestor witch can leave some of his life essence and blood in advance, and the rest of the ancestral witch can also contribute some of his life essence and blood. With these original life essence and blood, it is enough to turn a great witch into an ancestral witch. Many ancestral witches' eyes lit up when they heard this, and they felt that this idea was a good idea. In this way, the Wu clan can not only obtain a saint, but also continue to use the original saint formation. In a happy mood, the twelve ancestors took Li Zan to their treasury. Without the primordial spirit, the witches could not use the spiritual treasures so the spiritual treasures they seized were placed in the treasury to eat, ash. This is. Li Zan's heart suddenly moved, his eyes fell on a measuring ruler, and he couldn't help but pick it up. Hong Yun on the side also changed his face, he also noticed the extraordinariness of this ruler, and couldn't help but ask in the chat group, do you know this magic weapon? Li Zan. After Pangu opened up the world, the boundless merits gave birth to two acquired treasures, namely the Xuanwang Linglong Pagoda in the hands of Taiching Laozi and the Hongmeng Measuring Ruler in front of him, which are the first defensive treasure and the first killing treasure. Hong Yun. Your luck is too good, right? This is a treasure comparable to the three treasures of the open heaven. If you use it to entrust your obsession, how strong will your strength become? 3.7 Li Zan laughed and said, who knows? It should give me a greater confidence in preaching with strength. Outside world. Li Zan calmly took away the heavenly ruler of Hongmeng, as the Wu people would not recognize this treasure anyway. 
Afterwards, he selected two top quality innate spiritual treasures and ended his journey of treasure selection. Dijong asked. To refine the formation flag now, or wait for the Hutu girl to become holy and then help you refine the formation flag? Li Zan laughed. After sanctification. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep a site running. Chapter 318 Six Paths Reincarnation, Out. Father God is above. Today there are ancestors, witches and queens who see that the souls of all living beings in the flood have no place to return, and I wish to use this body to evolve into reincarnation. Six Paths Reincarnation, Out. With the sound of Hutu, infinite light erupted from her body, and the Six Paths Reincarnation slowly appeared in the boundless sea of blood. Styx, the lord of the sea of blood on the side, had an ugly face, and Hutu's actions were no less than robbing him for business. After all, his Ashura tribe was born from the fusion of the souls of the dead in the water of the sea of blood. However, after looking at the eleven ancestral witch, who was staring at him, Ming he still gave up the idea of struggling, and there was absolutely no chance of winning. Infinite golden merits descended from the sky, helping the back soil who lost her body to condense the primordial spirit, and the powerful power of merits made her directly become an authentic saint. After being enlightened, Li Zan, who was fifteen soils, also got boundless merits. The illusory blade appeared again. He cut obsessions from Li Zan, and combined with the celestial ruler, he turned into his evil corpse. A little bit more. With all the merits and virtues in his body, Li Zan moved in his heart, and he was only a little bit of experience away from beheading the three corpses. Even if this experience point is not replaced by merit, he can obtain it by practicing for a few years. Without stopping, Li Zan decided to leave here, because he knew that soon a saint would appear and snatch his underworld position in the Six Paths reincarnation. Right now, he doesn't want to be exposed in front of saints and even Taoist ancestors, so he chooses to leave in a low-key manner. As for the Red Cloud, he didn't show up at all, because that little trick on his body couldn't deceive sticks. Ancestor witch without the primordial spirit cannot recognize him, and practitioners with primordial spirit can easily detect the aura on his body. Bujo Mountain, Pangu Temple Li Zan waited here quietly for a while, and it didn't take long for him to see the twelve ancestors who came back angrily. Damn saint. Damn Deozu. It's really hateful to join hands to ground the Hutu girls. The twelve ancestors, who were full of anger, became even more angry when they saw Li Zan, and angrily asked Li Zan, did you know this would happen? Li Zan said indifferently. Don't be angry with the twelve ancestors. The queen ancestor was not grounded in vain. Strictly speaking, this is not a bad thing. Di Zhang frowned and said, when her brothers and sisters were at war with the demon clan, she couldn't make a move on the side. Do you think this is not a bad thing? Li Zan smiled and said, when Heavenly Court Fui starts a war with the Wu clan, can Sage Nu would take action? No one knows. Now that Wang Zhu Wu can't intervene in the War of Witches, Sage Nuwa must not be able to take action either. Di Zhang said thoughtfully, a saint for a saint? This is not the same. I have been offended before, I'm sorry. When will your twelve heavenly divine demon array be refined? Li Zan. It won't be too late to refine it after the new Zhu Wu appears. In the chat group, Hong Yun asked, What's your purpose in doing this? Li Zan. After these ancestor witches die, the flags made from their blood will take their place in the great world, and they can even gather their dead souls on the flags, so that my twelve arrays will have no problem. It is inferior to the effect of the twelve ancestral witch. Hong Yun suddenly said, So it is, Hutu is not dead so you don't need her blood when refining your formation flag. Li Zan. Exactly, 577 it takes time to cultivate new ancestor witches, but Li Zan Zan also needs time to cultivate the third corpse. Time flies and everything will be ready soon. Li Zan, who owned the 12 pole array flag, left the Wu clan's territory and quietly hid near Bujo Mountain, waiting for the Lich War to begin. Ten days in the sky, Kuafu chases the sun, Hu Yi shoots the sun. A series of classic events appeared, and the third Lich War broke out. The suffocating energy that rose from the sky condensed into the real body of Pangu, and dazzling starlight also appeared in the boundless starry sky. The starlight condensed into a meteorite and fell from the sky, and Pangu real body wielded a big axe to fight against it. The battle was fierce, and there were large explosions. Under the impetus of Shi Jia, the twelve ancestral witch and emperor Huntai fell one after another, and the only survivor, Gagong, could not accept the reality and slammed into Bujo Mountain in anger. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 319 Hongmeng World in the chat group. Hong Yun sighed. I didn't expect that even the pillar supporting the sky, Bujo Mountain, would collapse one day. Zhao Gungming. The successive battles, the self destruction of the saints' formation, the self destruction of Emperor Jun Taiyi and the twelve ancestral witches. All of these have seriously hurt Bujo Mountain. Gagong is just the last straw that broke the camel's back. Li Zan disdainfully said, This is the handwriting of Tiandao, otherwise, these attacks would not have hurt Bujo Mountain at all. Chaos Bell also endured these attacks, isn't it still intact? Howard Stark. It's really a devastating picture, even from the perspective of the group owner, it makes me feel terrified. The Big Bang is just like that. Dongfang Gaiyu. 
Is the group owner watching here? Li Zong. Of course not. While the saints and Hong Jun were busy mending the sky, I went to collect the Pangu Temple and the Chaos Bell first. The Chaos Bell can just be used as a spiritual treasure for me to kill the third corpse, and the Pangu Temple is even more so. Countless secrets. Li Zan, who had been prepared for a long time, immediately took action and took the blown up Pangu Temple into the Chaos Pearl. There is the Chaos Pearl, the treasure of chaos, to cover up the secret, even the Heavenly Dao doesn't know what's going on. After the Chaos Bell escaped into the void, many top powerhouses were chasing and competing, including Hong Yun's nemesis Kunpeng. Hong Meng measuring the Sky Ruler. Looking at Kunpeng who was fighting with other people in the distance, Li Zan sacrificed the Hong Meng measuring ruler without saying a word, and with one ruler, he beat Kunpeng to death and vented his anger for Hong Yun. Then Li Zan participated in the competition and took the Chaos Bell. The powerhouses of the two Lich clans were dead and wounded, and the sage Hong Jun was busy mending the sky, so no one could stop him. Li Zan, who quietly left, hid, refined the Chaos Bell and placed his obsession, and cut off all the three corpses. Then he entered the land of Juyu, which was full of evil spirits, and used boundless evil spirits to upgrade the flags of the twelve gods and gods so that they could be strengthened to the point where they could summon the real body of Pangu. After completing these preparations, Li Zan entered the Chaos Pearl, and the Chaos Bell above his head resisted the pressure brought by Chaos, opened up a pure land around him, and put out a great array of twelve gods and gods. The real body of Pangu appeared and merged with Li Zan's body. The powerful mana poured out from Li Zan's body, and he controlled the real body of Pangu to hold the evil axe, opening up the world in this chaotic world. Boom boom boom. The heavy chaos was split open by him. A brand new world was created by him, and an aura of living alone in Hunyuan Deluo Jinxian bloomed from him. Success! Li Zan was very excited, and everyone in the chat group was also very excited. Buzz! Just after Li Zan opened up the world and preached the Tao with strength, the Pangu Temple, which was placed in the Chaos Pearl in the distance, suddenly hummed, and a powerful spiritual sense was projected from it. Has anyone succeeded in breaking ground? A strong voice sounded, and the figure of a sturdy man appeared on the Pangu Hall, looking exactly like the real Pangu. Pengu God Tear. Li Zan and everyone in the chat group were shocked, are you still alive? Pengu's phantom shook his head and said, I'm already dead, this is just a thought I left behind. I have one thing I want to ask you, do you know if I can? Li Zan pondered. Come and listen, Pan Ji Yu smiled and said, do you know my origin? Li Zan shook his head. Pan Ji Yu said, I think a lot of people must be curious, why I am so much stronger than the Chaos Demon God, who is also the Chaos Demon God. I can tell you the reason, because I come from the primordial world, which is more advanced than the chaos world. The reason why I want to open up the world and prove the Tao with strength is because only by proving the Tao with strength can I return to my hometown, the world of Hongming. You are now qualified to enter the world of Hongming, I want to ask you to take my skull back for burial. Li Zan's heart moved. Hongming world, I don't know how to get there. Pengu flicked a finger and shot a purple light towards Li Zan, and said with a smile, this is the key to entering the world of Hongming. After catching the purple light, Li Zan found that there was indeed a space, Li Zhao Zhao, passage in the purple light, and he felt that he could enter it. I promise you. Li Zan looked at Pan Ji Yu and spoke in a deep voice. Thank you. Pangu smiled in relief, and his body slowly dissipated. In the chat group, Hong Yun asked, Is the group owner going to Hong Meng world? Li Zan laughed. Of course. A world more advanced than Chaos world, I really can't help but want to see it. While speaking, Li Zan used the purple light given by Pangu to enter the space channel in the purple light, and through it, he reached the world of Hongming. Suddenly, an ancient and desolate world appeared in front of him. Since 99 thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 320 Blocking the power of the world As soon as he entered the Hongming world, Li Zan's face changed suddenly, and he found that his connection with the system had been cut off. Is this world so advanced? Li Zan was horrified. However, seeing the purple air permeating the surrounding air, Li Zan felt that with the advanced level of this world, it seemed not impossible that the system could be shielded. Shielding system? It doesn't matter. Anyway, the current chat group system can't help me much, and the next world is up to me to explore. The strength of Chaos Pearl and Hunyuan Deluo Jinxian is what he relies on now. This world is very extraordinary, just appeared here. Li Zan felt a wave of rejection from the power of the world. In the sky, a purple lightning flashed across. Thunderclouds filled the air. Terrifying coercion is coming from all directions towards Li Zan. The higher the world level, the more so, as long as there are creatures who want to cross the border, they will inevitably be obliterated by the power of heaven and earth. Just for Li Zan, although such a world power is terrifying, it is not impossible to resist. With a cold snort, Li Zan's long hair was flying, and an indescribable terrifying aura erupted from his body, constantly fighting against the will of heaven and earth. At this time, the 577 purple lightning that floated above the sky instantly transformed into a purple terrifying beast. 
Li Zan judged that the strength of this giant beast is at least at the level of a golden immortal, but its physical strength is definitely far beyond the ordinary golden immortal. Even at this moment, Li Zan actually saw a ray of wisdom in the eyes of this giant beast condensed from lightning. This guy, isn't it just a gathering of the power of rules, but a self-consciousness in life? Li Zan's eyes narrowed slightly, and there was a ray of doubt. Now that he is a big Luo Jingxian, the power of perception is naturally incomparably powerful. He became more and more suspicious of the giant beast formed by the condensed purple lightning. At the same time, there is also a faint fear, because right now, waiting for the purple monster to attack Li Zan. Outside the sky, there were actually several terrifying fluctuations that came out, and again condensed several extremely powerful beasts. The appearance of these beasts can be described as all kinds of strange, each of them is extremely powerful, and the weakest among them has the cultivation of the heavenly level. And the strongest is even stronger than the purple terrifying beast that appeared before. Vaguely, on top of its huge body, the fluctuations emanating are actually comparable to Da Luo Jingxian. If the purple lightning behemoth just seems to have wisdom, then this giant beast with a cultivation level comparable to the Da Luo Jingxian level is truly psychic. It looks very similar to the dragon in the world Li Zan once lived in. The only difference is that it has the body of a snake and the head of a lion. Intruder, get out of this world. This giant beast is very intelligent and possesses autonomous wisdom. Now, it stared at Li Zan coldly, opened its bloody mouth, and a terrifying roar burst through the sky with a series of sonic booms, forcing Li Zan towards him. What if I say no? Li Zan smiled slightly, his face was extremely indifferent, and his body was as motionless as a mountain. He looked at these persecuted giant beasts in front of him, and he didn't see the slightest fear. On the contrary, at this moment, Li Zan burst out with a terrifying fighting intent. To put it bluntly, these giant beasts are nothing but the manifestation of the world power and rules of this world. In a sense, it can actually be equated with the life of heaven in this world. Seemingly powerful. But in Li Zan's eyes, that's the same thing. Refuse to leave, that is death. The giant beast with a lion's head that looked like a dragon, let out a deafening roar, and then attacked Li Zan first. Thousands of lightning flashes from the sky, as the leader who guards this side of the world, his strength can be said to be extremely powerful. Under the blessing of the power of the world and the laws of heaven, he is already comparable to the combat power of Da Luo Jingxian. BFDH so even in the face of Li Zan, who also has a great Luo Jingxian cultivation base and looks like a god descended from the earth, he has no fear. Its duty is to tear apart all alien creatures who dare to break into this world. Since Li Zan is so ignorant of praise, don't blame him for being ruthless. And behind him, those terrifying giant beasts condensed with lightning, each made a terrifying roar, and turned their huge bodies to force Li Zan. This moment, a terrifying wave of destruction spreads between heaven and earth, Fortunately, this is the chaotic outer world of this world, which belongs to the area far away from the life area. If not, I am afraid that just the terrifying fluctuations emitted by this giant beast can destroy countless creatures. I declare by the law of the heavenly Tao of the Hongmeng world that you are walking towards the death side, and a low roar is heard from the mouth of the giant beast with the head of a snake and a lion. It seems that Li Zan is sentenced to death, then, he spit out a black lightning ball from his mouth. The power emanating from this lightning ball contained a hint of chaos, and it was powerful enough to destroy the sky and destroy the earth. Like a dazzling shooting star, it streaks across this void and falls towards Li Zan's face, wanting to kill him completely. With some strength, it's no wonder that you can become the guardian of this world. But do you think that you can get me by your mere rascals? Facing the siege of these giant beasts, Li Zan just smiled slightly, then he suddenly disappeared in place, and when he reappeared, it was already on the head of this giant beast with the body of a snake and the head of a lion. I saw a ray of extremely bright light coming out of Li Zan's palm, falling on the head of this giant beast like an Optimus Prime stone. In an instant, there was a terrifying wailing sound. The head of that giant beast, which was originally irretrievable, suddenly burst open. Heaven and earth suddenly became quiet, the other giant beasts who originally wanted to besiege Li Xian stopped in their tracks at this moment, vigilance flashed in their eyes, and growls like threats in their throats. That giant beast with the body of a snake and the head of a lion is their leader. It has been responsible for guarding a chaotic area outside the sky for countless years. Its strength is very extraordinary. In the long past years, countless strong men who wanted to invade this world have died in his hands. But now he is dead, which makes these beasts extremely afraid of Li Zan. I'm just a passerby in this world, and I have no intention of becoming an enemy of you, but if you really want to be with me forever, you can give it a try. Li Zan smiled and gently wiped the blood from his hands, causing these giant beasts to speak calmly. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 321 Ghost Guard Even if the intruder kills us, it won't help, you know that this world is not something you can touch, and it's too late to leave now. Facing Li Zan. The faces of these giant beasts showed a dignified color. In the end, the terrifying giant beast formed of purple lightning said coldly. 
but it can be seen that he is just a little stern and reserved. Facing the cross-border dragon like Li Zan, it doesn't help that they are manifested by the laws of heaven. I didn't come to this world with any malice, I was just a passerby, I just wanted to understand this world. If you sincerely stop me, then the last battle is. At this moment, Li Zan slowly restrained his smile, his eyes were extremely calm, and he spoke slowly. His voice was very light, but his words were filled with a taste of dominating the world. No one in this world has ever dared to threaten himself. Even these terrifying behemoths responsible for guarding the borders of the Hongmeng world. Seeing that there was no room for negotiation, these giant beasts also showed a decisive color and attacked Li Zan. All kinds of supernatural powers manifest, and all kinds of powerful laws are scattered all over the sky. These terrifying giants are naturally not easy to mess with. Although just now Li Zan was extremely powerful and killed the leaders of these giant beasts. But this has inspired the ferocity of these terrifying beasts. Various attacks hit Li Zan. But even so, Li Zan remained as still as a mountain, like a god who descended from the heavens above the earth, with a calm color in his eyes. As if the attacks of these giant beasts are like tickles to him. After a few hours, the giant beasts were all panting and retreating, staring at Li Zan with extremely cautious and solemn expressions. Li Zan looked at these giant beasts, smiled slightly, and said slowly, Since you've had enough, then it's my turn. The words fell for a moment, Li Zan leapt up, and two strokes of purple lightning appeared between his palms. Now that he has the cultivation of Da Luo Jingxian, Li Zan's strength is far beyond what ordinary people can imagine. Even these terrifying beasts who are responsible for guarding the borders of the Hongmeng world face Li Zan, they're just like ants and elephants, and there is no threat at all. I could see that these two purple lightning bolts gradually condensed into two towering swords in Li Zan's palm. Afterwards, a vast and substantive terrifying sword energy spread across the boundary of the universe. At the border of the entire Hongmeng world, countless mixed auras kept surging, and the scene at this time was like the end of the world, and even the indestructible power of the rules of the Hongmeng world became a little shaken at this moment. Immediately afterwards, I saw that the strength of these giant beasts suddenly plummeted. The power of Li Zan overwhelmed the power of the world of Hongmeng world, and the terrifying beasts manifested by the rules of this world were also affected. I have a sword that can kill the sun and the moon. Li Zan's voice was very soft, and above his palm, the two towering purple swords suddenly leapt out. In an instant, thousands of sword shadows washed away and covered these giant beasts. In an instant, a painful roar was heard echoing between the heavens and the earth. However, it was only a matter of more effort, these originally ferocious beasts were killed by Li Zan one after another. Don't kill us, kill us and you won't survive. We are only responsible for guarding the edge of a world, and we are all insignificant soldiers. Killing us, you won't do any good, but you will cause infinite disasters. Now, those giant beasts no longer had the arrogance they had just before, and they all cried out in pain, crawling on the ground begging for mercy. Just for this, Li Zan turned a blind eye, his long hair fluttered like a devil, and there was a coldness in his eyes. Once, Li Zan has experienced countless big scenes, he naturally understands that the kindness to the enemy is the cruelty to himself. Now, the killing intent in his heart is constantly churning up. In the next moment, he no longer hesitated, only to see countless terrifying towering giant swords emerging from behind, flying towards these terrifying giant beasts. In an instant, all the giant beasts were split into blood mists one after another. This scene is bright and bloody, very flirtatious, and has an indescribable beauty. All the giant beasts were not spared, and all died completely at this moment. Ask for flowers the power of the rules of the world did not spread, but leapt towards Li Zan. Li Zan opened his mouth and took a breath, seeing the power of the rules of the world that remained after the death of the giant beast, all of which were absorbed into his mouth. At this moment, Li Zan's aura suddenly became stronger again. Notice, the world class of Hongmeng world is far higher than any place Li Zan has ever experienced. The power of the rules here is so powerful that Li Zan's already extraordinary cultivation has risen again. Even at this moment, Li Zan faintly touched the essence of the Tao. However, in the next instant, Li Zan's head suddenly lifted. He couldn't help but narrowed his eyes slightly, looked towards the sky, a cold taste appeared on the corner of his mouth, and finally said softly. Point zero it seems, the world of Hongmeng is really unusual, some guys still have some ghosts. If that's the case, then today I will kill the power of the world in the Hongmeng world and be terrified. The words fell, and I saw that in the chaos in the distance, a terrifying figure in a black robe suddenly appeared and the whole body was shrouded in shadows. This figure is very terrifying, the breath on the body is strong and cold, and it silently appears in front of Li Zan like a ghost. Li Zan knows that this figure is the incarnation of the power of heaven, even more terrifying and powerful than those giant beasts just now. Because, even if this shadow didn't make a move, the blood still soared into the sky, and there was a peak of Da Luo Jingxian's cultivation. Outsider, you dare to kill the guarding giant beast, you are really courageous. But do you know that you have committed a heinous crime? It's too late to catch you now, I think you're a corpse. 
But if you are still stubborn and unsatisfactory and want to take action against me, then don't blame me for making you not even qualified to be reincarnated in the future. Now. The shadow suddenly spoke. His voice was extremely hoarse, with a hint of icy cold, just like a ghost walking out of the Nine Serenities, giving people a dark and cold feeling. Li Zan is very indifferent to this, he smiled slightly and said calmly. Since you want to fight me, don't talk nonsense, let's do it, Shang. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 322 The Messenger of Heaven in the Face of Li Zan's Incomparable Strength at the Moment The shadow in the black robe suddenly became a little silent. After a long time, he slowly raised his head, looked at Li Zan, and asked softly. It's really an outsider who doesn't know the heights of the sky. Do you think you can escape the pursuit of this seat? He, you are nothing but a messenger of the heavenly Tao transformed by the power of this world, and you are not much stronger than those so-called heavenly Tao beasts just now. Don't pretend to be forceful in front of me, or you will die quickly. Seeing that the mysterious powerhouse under the shadow is so strong, Li Zan smiled lightly and said slowly. Young man, I have to admit that your talent is very strong, and you also have arrogant capital. You can travel through the barriers of the world and come to the world of Hongmeng at this age. Five nine zeros can already show how amazing your talent is. But even so, if you think you can act recklessly here, you are wrong. Now that you're not leaving, don't even think about leaving. You are not the first powerhouse who wants to sneak into the world of Hongmeng. Before you, in every era, there were countless strong men who wanted to sneak in, but in the end, no one succeeded. Speaking of this, the black-robed powerhouse condensed by the benefits of heaven, he paused slightly, raised his head, and looked at Li Zan, whose face was indifferent at the moment. With a cold smile, he asked slowly. Do you know why this is? You're talking too much nonsense? I don't need to know why, since they have failed, they are not qualified to leave their name on the history. To me, these people are nothing but rubbish, I am different from them, I must enter the Hongmeng world today, even you can't stop me. It's still too late to get out of the way now, or I will definitely kill you here. Facing the pretended mystery of this mysterious powerhouse in black robes, Li Zan appeared very strong. He smiled coldly and said slowly, his words were filled with a touch of indisputable taste. Just like a supreme being from the Nine Heavens, the aura around his body is so strong that this strong man wearing a black robe is slightly cold in his heart. He is a strong man transformed by the power of heaven in this world, and his strength can be described as extraordinary. At this moment, he also felt how powerful Li Zan was. Faced with Li Zan's strength, even he couldn't help but take a deep breath. But even so, he quickly suppressed the fear in his heart, smiled slightly, and said calmly. Because of those guys who wanted to break into the Hongmeng world in the past, they are all dead. Do you know why this is? Because they have no strength but are so strong, this is completely courting death. If you don't retire now, then there is really no chance. I'll give you one last chance, at this moment, this mysterious powerhouse wearing a black robe has already reached the peak of Deluo Jingshan's aura. In his words, there is a hint of undeniable taste. He is very strong, the breath on his body is also very strong, and he is still climbing. At this moment, after seeing the strength of this black-robed powerhouse, Li Zan smiled slightly, his eyes were extremely calm, and he spoke slowly. How can you say that there are none of these, today, I must go to the Hongmeng world, even if the Lord of Heaven comes, he can't stop me. Li Zan's words are also filled with a taste of world domination. Seeing that the situation was irreversible, this shadow created by the will of Heaven was silent for a while, and shot at Li Zan. I saw that under his black cloak at this moment, a withered palm that was as dry as a branch suddenly appeared. In his palm, he was holding a terrifying machete with black lightning flashes. The power of death on this machete made Li Zan feel a little dignified. Even so, Li Zan still did not retreat, he sneered and rushed towards the shadow. Faced with such an opponent, Li Zan can't ask for anything. He also wants to use this to measure how powerful the so-called strongmen in the Hongmeng world are. The two figures crossed each other in an instant. It just caught the mysterious powerhouse in black robe by surprise, and what he didn't expect was. In the next instant, his head flew high, Li Zan's expression was indifferent, as if beheading such a strong man who was comparable to the peak of Da Luo Jingxian was just a trivial matter. The strong man in black robes had a trace of unwillingness in his eyes, and at this moment, Li Zan let out a deafening roar. He is the incarnation of the power of heaven. As long as he is in the world of Hongmeng, even if his head is cut off, he will never die easily. Damn you, damn you, you dare to break me like this, you're dead. Following his words, his head flew high and dissipated in the chaos. Li Zan was stunned for a moment. He did not expect that this mysterious powerhouse in black robes would be so decisive and chose to self-destruct. And with the sudden self-destruction of this mysterious black robe powerhouse, the edge of Hongmeng world instantly became extremely chaotic. Countless violent breaths overflowed indiscriminately, as if the end of the world. At this moment, Li Zan was also a little caught off guard. But soon he regained his indifference, smiled coldly, and said calmly. Do you think you can kill me if you expose yourself? How naive. 
As Li Zong's words fell at this moment, he saw the soles of his feet suddenly step forward. In an instant, Li Zong's figure disappeared in place, breaking through many obstacles, and went directly to the depths of the Hongmeng world. Like a shooting star, it streaks a brilliant 3.7 track across the sky. Even in the depths of Hongmeng world, there are many creatures who have witnessed this scene at this moment. These creatures thought that Li Zong was a god descended from the earth, and fell to the ground one after another, heading in the direction of Li Zong's departure. Li Zong's speed is beyond words. In just a short while, he had already stepped out of a distance of hundreds of millions of light years and disappeared on the edge of the Hongmeng world. And the chaotic storm that was originally violent here has also calmed down again with the disappearance of Li Zong. Not long after Li Zong left, a number of terrifying auras suddenly appeared at the edge of the Hongmeng zone, which was comparable to some powerful quasi-saints. A golden eye appeared above the sky, staring at Li Zong's direction for a long time. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 323 Hongmeng World, The Third Continent Before a Towering City Now, Li Zong's figure appeared in front of Chengmeng Tower. He looked at the incomparably huge city in front of him and couldn't help but let out a sigh. As expected of a majestic world with such a high world level, it really makes people yearn for it. Li Zong's words were very light, but he couldn't help but arouse the ridicule of some passers-by beside him. They looked at Li Zong as if they were looking at a hillbilly. At this moment, behind Li Zong, an extremely cold voice came. Country bumpkin, don't you want to make way for this girl, don't you want to live? Li Zong turned around abruptly for a moment, looking at the woman in red who suddenly appeared behind him, a playful smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. He spoke quietly, this, girl. You and I have no grievances, why do you call me a douchebag? The woman in red was very beautiful, her eyebrows were slightly raised, and her eyebrows glared at Li Zong and laughed lightly. Looking at what you're wearing, you're so ugly, and you're blocking other people's roads like this, aren't you a hillbilly? The voice of this woman in red is very clear and weak, like a lark, but her words hurt like a knife. Li Zong frowned slightly, although he has seen countless beauties, it is the first time he has seen someone so arrogant and unreasonable. Li Zong also doesn't have much affection for such a woman. No matter how beautiful he looks, such a domineering friend is not gentle, but he is just a skeleton. When the woman's words fell, she saw Li Zong smiled coldly and said lightly. I said this girl, your words are really piercing, do you think I am a hillbilly? As soon as the words fell, he saw an incomparably bright night pearl suddenly appear on Li Zong's palm. Even in broad daylight, the light emitted by this night pearl is enough to blind the eyes of countless mortals. At this moment, even the woman in red was stunned when she saw Yi Mingzu in Li Zong. She is also a practitioner, so she naturally recognized the extraordinary origin of this night pearl, it turned out to be a dragon ball. Who exactly are you? Why do you have such a precious dragon ball? Have you killed the Zhao Long Strong? Did you know that in the Hongmeng world, the dragon clan is a super clan? You dare to kill the members of the dragon clan secretly, don't you want to live? The woman in red stared at Li Zan coldly, her eyes full of hostility. Seeing the woman in red like this, Li Zan was slightly stunned, and then a golden light suddenly flashed in his eyes. Li Zan immediately understood that the woman in red was not a mortal, but a flood dragon. Seeing that Li Zan actually held an invaluable dragon ball in his hand, he mistakenly thought that it was what Li Zan had killed by beheading his compatriots, which is why he was so hostile. Seeing that the woman in red had misunderstood him, Li Zan shook his head and smiled, and explained slowly. This, girl, although your character is so domineering, I have to say that this dragon ball is not what I got from killing your kind. But I accidentally picked it up when I was cultivating in the great wilderness in the new year. Li Zong's remarks are also true, it's just that the so-called Great Wilderness he said is not in the world of Hongmeng. Li Zong has had a lot of dealings with the dragon people in his life. Although the dragon family can be said to be a treasure, Li Zong has never killed any dragon people. Humph, there is no best, it's just that you'd better not show this dragon ball to others easily, otherwise it will cause unnecessary misunderstandings. The woman in red looked at Li Zong, and his nose moved slightly, as if he did not smell the same kind of blood on Li Zong, so she nodded contentedly. She didn't say Li Zong was a hillbilly anymore, she just gave some kind advice. Ha, huh, I didn't expect that this girl in red is also a person of temperament. Don't worry, since you said so, then I won't take out this dragon ball again. It's just that I'm not familiar with this place when I first came here. I think the girl is an aboriginal inhabitant of this city? Could you please ask the girl to show me around this city? Li Zong looked at the woman in red, his heart moved slightly, a friendly smile appeared on his face, and he asked softly. Seeing Li Zong inviting her like this, the woman in red was slightly stunned. She frowned and stared at Li Zong like she was looking at a bad guy. It was only in the end that the woman in red saw that Li Zong's eyes were so clear that he didn't look like some gangster, so she let go of her vigilance, nodded lightly, and smiled. Since you have invited this girl like this, then this girl will take you around this city. The words fell, and the woman in red walked with Li Zong and walked towards the city. During this period, Li Zong also learned that the name of the woman in red was very nice, and it was called Li Menger. 
It can be seen that although the red-clothed woman's current cultivation is very powerful, she already has the strength of a golden immortal, but she is ignorant of the world and seems to have little contact with the external environment. Maybe it is because of this that he is so carefree as Li Zan hillbilly? Thinking of this, Li Zan smiled slightly, after the two entered the city, they walked towards the inn at the front. Speaking of which, the woman in red is not a native of this city, but she was born very high, and she is the little princess of the Zhaolong clan. Her father is the king of the Zhaolong clan. With such a prominent status, even if she appeared in the 590-person world, no one dared to attack her at all. By the way, Li Zan, your accent doesn't seem like a native of the third continent to me? What race are you exactly? Moreover, I think your cultivation base should be very powerful, some can't see through it. Where are you from? At this moment, in the inn. Li Zan sat opposite the woman in red. The woman in red looked at Li Zan up and down, smiled slightly, and asked curiously. He naturally also saw that the woman in red did not seem to be someone with ulterior motives, she was just pure curiosity. At this moment, Li Zan also has some understanding of Hongmeng world. There are hundreds of continents in Hongmeng world, the most powerful are the first continent and the third continent. With a slight smile, Li Zan had a thought in his heart. He looked at the woman in red and said softly, To be honest, Miss Li Munger, I am indeed not a native of the third continent, but from the first continent. This time I came to the third road to practice. The woman in red nodded and didn't care too much. But right now, suddenly, a sneer came from behind the two of them. He, garbage from the first continent. You really dare to appear on the street so carelessly, and you're not afraid of being killed. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 324 Arrogant and Domineering It was three middle-aged men sitting in the corner not far behind them who spoke and mocked. The leader has a long beard and a fierce face, and his whole body is full of a sturdy smell. There are two bright acts behind him, which seems to be very powerful, but in fact, his cultivation is not very high, but he is just a fairy. Even if it is weaker than Li Menger, but even so, he still looked at the two provocatively, as if waiting for Li Zan and Li Menger to make a move. Who? Don't you want to live? Do you know who this girl is? Now, red-clothed Li Munger's eyes couldn't help but turn cold, then she turned around and said incomparably cold. Li Munger is the little princess of the Zhaolong clan. Wherever she goes on weekdays, she is not like the moon in the hearts of everyone. Now following Li Zan's side, but being treated like this, how can Li Menger not be angry? Moreover, the ancestors of the Zhaolong tribe also migrated from the first continent to the third continent. Being so provocative now, how could Li Menger be extremely angry in her heart? It was just that Li Menger was held down by Li Zan next to her as soon as she stood up. Li Zan smiled and said, Miss Li Munger, please be patient. Some people talk nonsense just because they eat shit in their mouths, what are you doing to them? His voice was light, with a hint of sarcasm in his words. However, at this time, the strong man who had just made a mockery of the first continent was a little angry. He was so provocative just now because of his hatred back then. There was a shocking war between the first continent and the third continent, and countless powerhouses were wiped out because of this. And this middle-aged strong man with a big beard is the descendant of the fallen strong man from the third continent in the past. Therefore, he is very hostile to the people from the first continent. If it weren't for this, he wouldn't be so provocative. For this, Li Zan took it lightly, he is from the outer world, so he doesn't care too much about the enmity between the first continent and the second and third continents. But the middle-aged bearded man was still unrelenting, his aura suddenly burst out, and he said with a cold smile. I mean, what if you guys from the first continent are rubbish? Come to my third continent and dare to do this, either the dragon is coiled or the tiger is lying down, otherwise don't blame grandpa, I'm being rude to you. The words fell, his eyes flickered, looking at Li Zan with a hint of provocation. For this, Li Zan smiled coldly and raised his hand. In an instant, a terrifying and majestic drop of water came out from his palm. This is the drop of water that Li Zan ignited in the wine glass when he was drinking. Although there is only one drop, it seems like a huge weight, very extraordinary. In an instant, it pierced the chest of this middle-aged man who spoke wildly. Some people are really ignorant, do you really think that this is the third continent? Although I came to the third continent from the first continent, I have never had any prejudice. You are so provocative and don't teach you some lessons that you will never forget, I am afraid it is a bit inappropriate. Li Zan stood up, a cold arc appeared on the corner of his mouth. He looked at the other two middle-aged men, and there seemed to be no turbulence between their words, but they made them feel like they were facing great enemies. The middle-aged bearded man at the head, his cultivation base is only a god, and he is much weaker than Li Zan's current Da Luo Jingxian cultivation base, it is the gap between heaven and earth. That's why Li Zan just shot, just using water droplets as a sharp sword, but he was seriously injured. He looked at Li Zan with a hint of panic in his eyes, and said sternly. What do you want to do, do you know that the lord of this ancient city is the brother of my ancestors? Outsider, if you really dare to hurt me just now, be careful not to save your life. 
It can be seen that the ancestor of the middle-aged man is indeed very powerful, and it is precisely because of this that he will be so rude to provoke Li Zan. It's just that Li Zan didn't care about the threat of the middle-aged man, he came to the world of Kei Hongmeng and beheaded the messenger of heaven. Nowadays, these so-called Hongmeng world natives are just some local chickens in his eyes. Today's Li Zan's cultivation base, Zhejiang ruler is among the most powerful group of existences among the great Luo Jingshan. Therefore, he did not care too much about the so-called Panchung lord. At this moment, Li Zan walked slowly forward, stepped on the middle-aged man's face, and said lightly. Just because you want to threaten me, Fang Kai, you said that the people of the first continent are rubbish? Let me see who is the real trash? As the words fall, Li Zan is about to kill. But at this moment, outside the inn, there was suddenly a very muddy voice, with a hint of urgency in the words. Fellow Taoist, please be merciful, my juniors are ignorant, and I hope fellow Taoists don't take offense. The words fall. A majestic and majestic breath came from Li Zan's back. This person shot is the ultimate move, there is no doubt that he is a ruthless character. Only for this, Li Zan is very indifferent, he didn't even turn around, and when he lifted it up, he saw an invisible wall suddenly appear behind him, blocking the strong man from the air wall. Afterwards, Li Zan stepped on the middle-aged man's head with one foot, blood spattered, and the hall was extremely quiet at this moment. It was silent, and even the air seemed to stagnate. Because the people Li Zan kills are not ordinary, this middle-aged man with a beard looks rough, but in fact, he is not far from this city the descendant of another extremely powerful family. In the third continent belongs to the top ranks of the powerful. In the ancient city of Pan on weekdays, it can be said that he is used to being arrogant and domineering. I just never thought that today I chose the wrong person and lost my life. Seeing Li Zan's actions being so ruthless and ruthless, the people who came here were stunned. Li Nuo's, he frowned coldly, and there was a hint of coldness in his eyes, and he said. Your excellency is so bold, I have let you show mercy, how dare you not sell my face? Did you know that you have made a big mistake? It's too late to kneel now, or you'll be dead later. Falling with his words. Sure enough, outside the inn, dozens of powerful and majestic auras suddenly appeared. Every path has at least a golden immortal level of cultivation. These people are all masters from the city lord's mansion in this huge city. Each of the strengths can be described as very powerful, and now they are all gathered together, intending to kill Li Zan in one fell swoop. At this moment, not far behind Li Zan, Li Minjer's eyebrows were also slightly wrinkled. She spoke softly. Li Zan, something is not good, these people are the masters of this giant city's lord's mansion. I'm afraid we can't afford to provoke them. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 325 Until this time, Li Zan turned around slowly. He ignored Li Menger's seemingly concerned words. Instead, his eyes narrowed slightly, and his gaze fell to the person who had just shot not far away. This is a young man with the appearance of a pointed-mouthed monkey wearing a luxurious robe, but his face is extremely blue. His strength is also very strong, it turned out to be the cultivation base of Deluo Jingxian in the early stage, which is stronger than Li Munger. At this moment, he also stared at Li Zhang coldly and said calmly. Outlander, do you know who you killed just now? You have already committed a catastrophic disaster, even if you are a supreme family from the first continent, you can't do things like this in our pan-ancient city. Today, you must kneel and admit your mistake, or you will not be able to leave this inn. There was a hint of arrogance and domineering in the voice of this young man with sharp-mouthed monkey cheeks. He and the middle-aged bearded man can be described as close friends. Now, seeing a friend being beheaded like this in front of him is tantamount to touching his bottom line. Moreover, he was born in the direct line of the city lord's mansion, he is very powerful and has an extremely prominent identity. No one has ever dared to be so disrespectful to him on weekdays. Today, Li Zan, an outsider, showed such strength and dominance, there is no doubt that 590 hit him in the face. How could he not be angry? It is precisely because of this that his words at the moment leave no room for turning back. Regarding the words of the sharp mouthed, monkey gill youth in front of him, Li Zan seemed very calm, without the slightest turbulence. He slowly sat down where he was sitting just now, raised the wine glass in his hand lightly, took a sip of the wine in the glass, smashed his mouth, and then spoke slowly. You people from the third continent are really used to being arrogant. Just now, when he rudely called me trash, where were you? I shot him because he had no respect for me. Is it possible that you want to have a deadly vengeance with me now? Li Zan's voice was very soft, but his words were filled with a taste of world domination. He didn't care too much about this young master from the city lord's mansion. The entire Hongmeng world is just a place of good fortune for Li Zan. When he has wiped away all the good fortune opportunities in this place one day, he will leave. Even if the indigenous people here are strong, what can they do? He is fearless. Beside him, Li Menger, BFDH, flashed a dignified taste in his eyes, and said softly to Li Zan. Forget it, Li Zan, I have to forgive people and forgive them. I know this guy, but he is the illegitimate son of the city lord of Panchung City. 
Although the status in the city lord's mansion is not high, the master has real power. We are strong dragons and do not overwhelm the local snakes. Although your cultivation base is extremely powerful, you are at the level of Da Luo Jingxian, but the city lord of Pan Gecheng is a quasi sage. If we provoke it, I am afraid that we will not have any good fruit to eat, and it is better to settle down. As the little princess of the Zhaolong clan, Li Munger is very domineering in her usual way of doing things and seems to be domineering, but her mind is very exquisite and clear, and she knows who should be provoked and who should not be provoked. The city lord of Pan Gecheng is very powerful, and even the ancestors of their Zhaolong clan might not want to provoke them easily. Although Li Menger sees that Li Zan's origin is also very extraordinary, but the two tigers will inevitably be hurt. From Li Menger's point of view, Li Zan is her new friend, and she doesn't want Li Zan to be hurt in the slightest. Don't worry, Miss Li Menger, I appreciate your kindness. It's just that I have my own measure, so what if the city lord of Pancheng came in person? For me, the quasi sages are nothing but bigger ants. Although I am only a golden immortal of Great Luo, even if a few more quasi sages attack me together, I have nothing to fear. Li Zan smiled slightly and said to Li Menger through voice transmission. His voice was incomparably light and relaxed, as if he didn't have much fear of the city lord's mansion. Is it actually so? The so called powerhouses in Hongmeng world are extremely powerful in Li Zan's view, but they don't pose too many threats. Because, there is a problem with the way of heaven in the Hongmeng world. The laws of heaven here are not complete, this is why Li Zan should be so strong. When he smuggled in, he killed those giant beasts of the heavenly Tao, and he searched the souls and memories of these giant beasts, and learned some secrets of the Hongmeng world. Although the strength of the city lord of Pan Gecheng is extremely powerful, it is not as good as that of the heavenly beast. The so-called quasi-sage cultivation base is nothing more than a silver dry wax gun tip. At this moment, even if the city owner of Pancheng really came to trouble him, Li Zan would just kill him. Seeing Li Zan so strong, Li Menger's heart was a little more settled. She suddenly remembered that this guy was able to take out a treasure like the Dragon Ball at his fingertips, and it must have come from some extremely powerful superpower. Therefore, there is no worry in my heart just now, it seems to be extremely calm, and even sits on the side and watches the excitement. Li Menger looked at Li Zan, and a different color flashed in her beautiful eyes. The Zhaolong family has always respected the strong, and the little princess of the Zhaolong family is even more so. The stronger Li Zan is, the more happy Li Menger is. Faintly, there are even some secret aromas, it's just that Li Zan didn't think too much at this moment, he just wanted to stand up here and let the world know that he is not easy to mess with. Otherwise, wherever he goes in the future, he will be blocked by a group of people who don't open his eyes, this is not Li Zan's style of doing things. At this moment, the young man in the city lord's mansion also had a gloomy expression on his face. He is the illegitimate son of the city lord of Pan Ancient City, although he is not seen by others on weekdays, the various forces in Pan Ancient City still want to give his father some face. It is precisely because of this that he has never seen a guy so daring and arrogant in front of him. Now, he looked at Li Zan coldly and asked calmly. This, friend from the first continent, don't you really have the slightest sense of repentance? Do you know that the person you killed was a family member of the superpower of my third continent? By killing him, you are declaring war on our third continent. Can your first continent afford such consequences? Facing the threat of a young man with a pointed mouthed monkey cheek, Li Zan suddenly laughed. Ha ha. Do you think you can represent the entire third continent with just one piece of the ancient city? In my first continent, there have been many strong people over the years, and your third road is the sunset and the west mountain. Do you think the old guys from the third continent would dare to go to war easily for a mere piece of trash? Li Zan's voice is very soft, but very domineering. Now that he is disguised as a strong man in the first continent, he must be strong to the end. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 326 Fearless do you know that my Pan Gecheng is one of the top 100 giant cities in the third continent? My father is also a member of the third continent's parliament, he is extremely powerful, as early as thousands of years ago, he was determined to be a powerhouse at the peak of the quasi sage, and he was only half a step away from reaching the position of a saint. Isn't this qualification enough to represent our third continent? The person you killed just now was an outstanding genius of Gao Lao Zhuang. If you killed him, you would have completely forged a never ending hatred with Gao Lao Zhuang. Do you really think that you can still survive in the third continent? Now kneel down and admit your mistake, there is still room to turn around. But if you are still obsessed, then don't blame us for being ruthless. This is the third continent, not your first continent. This young man with pointed mouthed monkey cheeks had a hint of coldness in his voice, and his eyes flashed with a terrifying murderous aura that seemed to be substantive. Li Zan's words just now seemed extremely harsh to him, as if they were mocking him, which made him very uncomfortable. It is precisely because of this that he has become more and more powerful. Faced with the threat of this sharp mouthed, monkey cheeked youth, Li Zan still had a calm expression, without the slightest disturbance, he slowly picked up the wine glass from the table, poured another glass of wine for himself, and then said softly. Your words seem to make sense, it's just that in my opinion, 
there is no strong person in your third continent. What if your father could really be a saint? In my first continent, there are nearly a thousand Chinese saints. Do you think a saint is a deterrent to me? If you want me to kneel, you are really delusional. The words fell, Li Zan drank the glass of fine wine, and then walked forward slowly. A vast and majestic aura suddenly erupted from him, and the sky high aura shocked everyone in the entire inn for a long time and dared not speak. Because at this moment, the aura that Li Zan is bursting out is comparable to the peak of Da Luo Jingxin. It should be noted that even though Da Luo Jingxin is in the world of Hongmeng, he is still the top powerhouse. If the quasi sage and the sage do not go out, the Daluo Jingxin will be respected. Seeing the powerful aura that erupted from Li Zan's body, Rao was that young man with a pointed mouth and monkey cheeks who was arrogant and domineering just now, and his face changed slightly at this moment. He originally thought that Li Zan was just a strong man in the early stage of the great Luo Jingxin. For him, he can offend the powerhouses in the early stage of Daluo Jingxin, but if he rips each other's face with a peak Daluo Jingxin powerhouse who can step into the ranks of quasi saints at any time, it will be a bit of a loss. Thinking of this, the young man with sharp-mouthed monkey cheeks flickered slightly. He is not stupid. On the contrary, he is very shrewd. He was able to walk all the way from the illegitimate son of a city lord's mansion to become one of the high-rises in this ancient city. Although this sharp-mouthed monkey gill youth looks very ugly, in fact, he has a very deep scheming and shrewdness. The reason why I fought for the middle-aged man just now was because I valued the huge family background behind him, so I wanted to take the opportunity to show my love. But I never thought that this time I mentioned an iron plate that I couldn't provoke. This made countless thoughts flash in his mind for a moment. Looking at Li Zan, who had an indifferent expression at the moment and was drinking and having fun, he felt more and more uneasy in his heart. Soon, a new decision was made in the heart of this sharp-mouthed monkey gill young man. In just a short while, his irresistible appearance just now disappeared, replaced by a smiling face. He looked at Li Zan with a slight smile, and said in a somewhat pleasing manner. This, brother, just now I was reckless, my friend didn't open it and also provoked Shantai because he was courting death. Seeing the scene in front of him, Rao was as calm as Li Zan, and his face couldn't help but become weird. He was so arrogant just now, and now he is flattering himself in an instant, this guy is really thick-skinned. Even so, Li Zan didn't care too much, he just loves dealing with smart people like that. Otherwise, he will be harassed by a group of arrogant and domineering children wherever he goes, which is not a good thing for Li Zan. Since this sharp mouth, monkey gill youth gave him the steps, Li Zan is not someone who doesn't know how to work around. Only to see him smile and speak calmly. Since you said so, then let's just relax. Just leave, I won't want to kill again in the city, don't worry. Ask for flowers. Li Zan is like this, if you respect me one foot, I will pay you back ten feet. Since this young man with sharp mouth and monkey cheeks is so respectful, this attitude makes him very happy. It's just that Li Zan's words fell, and there was a hint of embarrassment on the face of this kind of young man. Li Zan looked at his expression of hesitating to speak, his heart moved slightly, and he asked calmly. What? Is there anything else? I saw the sharp-mouthed monkey-cheeked young man nodded with a smile, and said slowly. Brother, it's not really a big deal. It's just the middle-aged man who was beheaded by you just now. His family is hundreds of thousands of miles away, and he is one of the super giants. As such, you'd better be careful, now I can guarantee that our city lord's mansion will never go to Shantai again. Point zero but the family behind the middle-aged man probably won't stop there. In their family, there is more than one strong person at the peak of the Daluo Jingxin, and there is even a quasi-saint-level ancestor sitting in the seat. I suggest that Shantai should not stay in Pancheng any longer, it is better to leave earlier. Otherwise, if we really fight at that time, I am afraid that our city lord's mansion will be a little embarrassed. Although my father is now a quasi Saint Pete powerhouse, he is not as strong as the ancestors of the family behind the middle aged man. At that time, once they are really held accountable, I am afraid that Shantai will have a catastrophe. The sharp mouthed, monkey cheeked youth intended to please Li Zan, and the final words were communicated by means of voice transmission, so no third person heard it. After he finished speaking, he bowed his hands to Li Zan, stopped staying, and walked out of the inn with some eagerness. There was a war that could break out at any time, and it was just such an anticlimactic matter. It's just that the two attendants who followed the dead middle-aged man at this moment are embarrassed. They just wanted to slip away, but they couldn't take any action, they were caught by a powerful aura, and they didn't dare to move. Others can go, but am I letting you go? Just now, your master said I was trash. Do you think I'm trash? At this moment, Li Zan looked at the two strong middle-aged men and asked calmly, superior. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 327, My Lord, could it be that you really want to kill them all? Do you know how powerful our family is? You offend us now, aren't you afraid that our ancestors will trouble you in the future? Seeing that the two middle-aged men could not get away, there was a touch of savageness in their eyes, and they said with some serious inner burning threats. In the face of threats from the two, Li Zan seemed very indifferent. He smiled slightly and said, even if your family is strong, what can you do? 
Let your ancestors personally kill me, I want to see if he has the ability. When the words fell, Li Zan did not hesitate, only to see his palm pointed. In an instant, the two middle-aged strong men turned into two blood mists, dissipating between the heavens and the earth. There is a faint bloody smell in the air, five nine zeros. Two glittering jade pendants fell from the air and shattered. This is the protective magic weapon carried by the two middle-aged people, which can stop the shocking blow of Deluo Jingxian. But in front of Li Zan, he appeared so fragile that he didn't even have any effect, and he was already beheaded. Not far from Li Zan, Li Menger didn't seem to like the smell of blood. Her beautiful eyebrows wrinkled slightly, seemingly aware of Li Menger's emotions, Li Zan raised his hand and waved, and the strong bloody smell in the air instantly dispersed. After doing all this, Li Zan, as if nothing had happened, sat in his seat, raised his hand and poured himself a glass of wine. He looked at Li Munger and asked with a light smile. Miss Li Munger, I'm really sorry to let these bastards disturb our yaxing before we met. Luckily, all those ignorant guys are all dead now. Come and drink with me. Facing Li Zan's invitation, Li Munger also nodded lightly and smiled. It's so good, since you're not afraid of Li Zan, then what should I be afraid of? What about these so called supreme families in the third continent? They, if you really dare to come, I will accompany you to fight against them. The two of them drank the wine so calmly, but they didn't know that not long ago, Li Zan had just killed the middle aged bearded strong man. Thousands of miles away from the ancient city of Pan, on a towering mountain. At this moment, suddenly a breath burst out from the top of the mountain. A roar resounded between heaven and earth. Ah! Who dares to kill my descendants? I'm going to tear you to pieces. The moment the words fell, suddenly, I saw that above this lofty mountain, a ray of light like a shooting star suddenly burst out, and flew towards the ancient city of Pan where Li Zan was located. The speed was so fast that it surpassed the speed of light, and it appeared in the sky above this inn in an instant. Manifesting his body shape, this is an old man with white hair like a lion. The aura on his body is so powerful that he is at the peak of Deluo Jingxian. But at this moment, he was extremely angry in his heart, and without any reservations, a shocking roar came out of his mouth. The bastard who killed my descendants, get out now, or my ancestors will slaughter this with blood. It's just that his words fell, and there was no movement in the inn. Li Zirongxuan also heard the threatening words of this sudden uninvited guest, but he did not see the slightest disturbance. Beside him, seeing Li Zan so calm, Li Munger didn't have the slightest worry in her heart. Mainly because of the strength shown by Li Zan just now, which gave her an inexplicable sense of shock. In her opinion, although the strong man standing outside the inn at the moment is very powerful, he is far from Li Zan's opponent. After drinking the last glass of wine, Li Zan slowly stood up and twisted his neck slightly. He narrowed his eyes slightly and walked slowly towards the outside of the inn. Behind him, Li Menger followed closely, and the two came to the street. At this moment, in the middle of the sky, the old man with empty hair looked at Li Zan, a flash of anger flashed in his eyes, and he asked in a deep voice. Boy, is it you who killed my descendants? I feel their blood on you. You really dared to take action, but what kind of catastrophe did you cause? The moment the old man's words fell, he shot at Li Zan. In an instant when his palm was raised, the world seemed to be dimmed. At this moment, his palm is like a giant mountain, generally shrouding Li Zan, wanting to kill him with one move. It's just that Li Zan, who could easily let him get his wish, just grabbed Li Menger's shoulder lightly, and the two disappeared in place in an instant. When it reappears, it is already behind the old man. Facing the old man's rage, Li Zan just smiled slightly and kicked forward. In an instant, a series of sonic booms sounded between heaven and earth. Li Zan's foot was like destroying the sky and the earth, and he actually carried the old man directly to the ground. This scene shocked everyone, at this moment, with the angry roar of the old man, countless powerhouses in Pan Ancient City came one after another, wanting to see who was fighting like this in the city. It should be noted that the city lord Pangu Cheng is also a quasi-sage level powerhouse, and he has already established a rule that all those who fight in the city will be sentenced to death. But now, neither Li Zan nor this old man who suddenly appeared are the existences that the city lord's mansion can provoke. Therefore, even if the guards of the city lord's mansion arrived early, they just watched from a distance and did not dare to step forward to stop it. The old man was held on the ground by Li Zan, and the roaring sound in his mouth was like a tiger roaring in the mountains, very terrifying. He jumped up again and again, shot at Li Zan, and kept roaring. Angry old man. Boy, you are so deceiving. You kill my descendants, and you dare to humiliate me like this. Today, I will make you pay your debts with blood. The words fall. His breath is soaring, in the end, he has reached the mid-stage existence of a quasi-saint, which is a great level higher than that of Li Zan. But even though Li Zan's face is still calm like 3.7, he can't see the slightest fear. And Li Menger beside him is the same. If you only stay by Li Zan's side, there is nothing to be afraid of. Old guy, don't rely on the old to sell the old, it's your descendants who don't open their eyes to provoke me first, and I kill them, just out of self-protection. Since you don't care about wanting to fight with me like this, then I will fulfill you. The moment Li Zan's words fell, he saw him make another move. 
This time, a terrifying lightning bolt like a giant dragon condensed out of Li Zong's hand, and in an instant, it rushed towards the old man and smashed it to ashes. The dignified generation of quasi-sage level powerhouses has completely fallen. The world suddenly became quiet, and no one dared to make a sound. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 328 10,000 Years Ancient Tea Tree in an Instant With the ancient city of Pan as the center, in a radius of hundreds of thousands of miles, the sky suddenly turned dark, and there were blood-colored clouds that spread over the heavenly palace. Such a vision of heaven and earth makes countless practitioners tremble with fear. A quasi-sage level powerhouse like the former Supreme has completely fallen, which makes everyone inexplicable. At this moment, as the culprit, Li Zan calmly looked at the rain of blood drifting down from the sky, with a faint arc on the corner of his mouth, and said calmly. I didn't expect that the level of the Hongmeng world is so high that even quasi-saint falls can have such a peculiar image of heaven and earth, which really surprised me. His voice was very soft, but it was like thunder in Li Munger's ears when it fell beside him. Li Menger suddenly raised her head and looked at Li Zan, a pair of beautiful eyes flashed with surprise. Although she was a little puzzled by what Li Zan said at this time, she didn't show it on the surface. Could it be that Li Zan is still from the outer world? Then isn't he the extraterrestrial 15th demon? Thinking of this, Li Munger's face also became a little weird. Although there are some doubts that Li Zan may be the devil from the outer world, Li Menger still didn't say anything. After all, in Li Menger's view, Li Zan is a good person. After beheading this quasi sage level old man, Li Zan was about to turn around and leave, Li Menger thought about it and followed the past. The two walked out of the city. Everyone in Pancheng now knows that Li Zan killed the quasi sage. If you stay here again, I'm afraid there will be some trouble. So at this moment, Li Zan took Li Menger out of the city gate and rose into the air, disappearing into the chaos of nothingness. Li Zan is now a strong man at the level of Da Luo Jingxin, and his physical body has long been able to cross the void without any damage. It's just that Li Munger's cultivation is still a bit weaker, but it's only at the level of a golden immortal, so on the way out of nothingness, if it wasn't for Li Zan's protection, I'm afraid it would have been torn into countless pieces. Even if Li Munger is a dragon clan, and his body is extremely strong, it can be said to be useless. Li Zan and Li Menger traveled tens of millions of miles all the way, and in just a few moments, they went from Pan Ancient City, the northernmost part of the Third Continent, to a barren area in the southernmost part. The Third Continent is one of the strongest continents in the entire Hongmeng world, so the strength of the practitioners here is much higher than that of other continents. It is precisely because of this that the Third Continent has a sturdy folklore. Especially in a barren area like the South, the powerhouses here are even more powerful than Pan Gechung. And the architectural style in the south of the third continent is much rougher than the towering cities in the north represented by the ancient city of Pan. At this moment, under Li Zan's perception, there are not too many strong people here, there are at least three of them in a radius of hundreds of miles. Li Zan's eyes narrowed slightly, he looked into the distance and said softly. Everyone who hides in the dark, I'm just a passerby, I won't be your enemy, and I hope you don't make trouble with me. As soon as the words fell, three terrifying auras flew over not far ahead, and then three figures rushed over from a distance. They looked at Li Zan one after another, and finally said with some hesitation. This fellow Taoist, since you are passing by, then we don't want to be your enemy, we just hope you don't quarrel with others here. When these three looked at Li Zan, a dignified color flashed in your eyes. Because they also sensed how powerful Li Zan's breath is. Although they are both powerful at the level of Deluo Jingxian, the three of them together may not be Li Zan's opponent. Looking at the three, Li Zan also smiled slightly, said quietly. The three of you can rest assured that I will leave after a short rest here. It's just that Li Munger behind him looked at one of the three, but his face suddenly changed, Lu Mei frowned slightly, and said coldly. Humph! I didn't expect to be able to meet people from the Golden Winged Dapung clan here, it's really a narrow road for enemies. Li Munger's voice was light, but cold, with a hint of evil spirit. The Golden Winged Dapung clan has always been a natural enemy with the Zhaolong clan, and the strong men of the Golden Winged Dapung clan often go to the territory of the Zhaolong clan to prey on the young dragons of the Zhaolong clan. It is precisely because of this that once the two powerhouses meet, they will never die. Now, seeing this golden winged Dapung transformed into a powerful Deluo Jingxian, how could Li Menger not be angry? But not waiting for Li Menger's words to fall, the strong man of the Dapung family smiled and said calmly. Presumably your excellency is Li Munger, the little princess of the Zhaolong clan? I am indeed a strong man of the golden winged Dapung clan, but I have already left my race over the years. Now I'm just a loose cultivator, and since I started cultivating, I have never been an enemy of the strong of the Zhaolong family, please don't be hostile to me. His words were light, with a hint of sincerity. Li Munger is not the kind of strong and domineering woman. She nodded, snorted coldly, and spoke with some sunere. So best, I don't smell the same kind of blood on you, it seems you didn't lie. But if you let me know that you are hostile to our Zhaolong family, then don't blame my aunt for being rude to you. Li Zan looked at Li Menger next to him and shrugged slightly, feeling a little emotional. 
This girl's nose is really sharp enough. Thinking that when she first met Lee Munger not long ago, she had smelled it on her body for a long time. It seems that this guy's nose is really smarter than a dog's nose. Hey, I said why are you staring at people like this? Seemingly noticing Lee Zong's strange gaze at the moment, Lee Munger blushed for a moment, lowered her head, looked at her feet, and said softly. Lee Zong didn't care, just smiled and said slowly. Miss Lee Menger, has anyone told you that you were very beautiful in a red dress? Lee Zong's voice was soft, with a hint of tenderness. Lee Munger couldn't help but feel a sense of joy in her heart. The Zhaolong family has always respected the strong. As the little princess of the Zhaolong family, Lee Menger is now very impressed with Lee Zong. It makes her very happy to be praised by Lee Zong. Even so, Lee Munger still shook her head with some sunere and said softly. HMPH, this girl is naturally an immortal descended from the earth, so I need you to say it. The words fell, she seemed to remember something, Lu Mei frowned slightly and said softly. By the way, there will be a 10,000 years ancient tea tree in South Blue recently, which is about to mature. It's not far from here, we can seize the opportunity. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 329 The Fairy of South Blue The South Blue in Lee Munger's mouth is not far from the southern tip of the third continent. There are nine seas in the entire Hongmen world, and South Blue is located between the third continent and the second continent. The old lair of the Zhaolong clan is also among them. The 10,000 years ancient tea tree that Lee Menger mentioned is probably somewhat related to the Zhaolong clan. To say that the little princess of the Zhaolong family is very generous, she only revealed such secret information to Lee Zong. This made Lee Zong's eyes have a strange taste. I'm afraid this girl won't really take a fancy to herself, right? Could it be that you want to recruit him into the Zhaolong family as a son-in-law? Thinking of this, Li Zan shook his head, it should be because I think too much. After all, the two seem to be of the same age, but the lifespan of the Zhaolong family has a long history. This little princess of the Zhaolong family seems young, and I am afraid she is almost tens of thousands of years old. Looking at Li Munger who was a little excited at the moment, Li Zan said with a chuckle. Miss Li Munger, the 10,000 years ancient tea tree you are talking about is probably not an ownerless thing right? If we really want to go to fight for the opportunity, will it be bad for the owner? There was a hint of tentativeness in his voice. After all, he is unfamiliar with Hongmeng world for the first time. Although Li Zan wants to be that dragon, he also understands that sometimes he can't just act with domineering, but also know how to be gentle. So now he is waiting for Li Menger's reply. Just facing Li Zan's doubts, Li Menger looked very sunere, waved her hand, and said lightly. HMPH, South Blue is the territory of our Zhaolong clan. The 10,000 years ancient tea tree is true, but how can I get what this girl wants? Li Zan, don't worry, follow me to eat and drink spicy food. There was a hint of hockey in Li Munger's voice that a woman should not have. It can be seen that their flood dragon clan belongs to the top forces in the entire South Blue and even the southernmost tribal alliance of the third continent. Otherwise, with Li Munger's character, he would have been beaten to death long ago. It's just that the three Diluo Jingshan level powerhouses who suddenly appeared heard that Li Menger was going to take Li Zan to snatch the 10,000 years ancient tea tree, and the expressions of the three of them became a little strange. They looked at Li Zan as if he wanted to say something, but in the end they held back. Li Zan's eyes were very good, and naturally he could see that the three of them seemed to have something to tell him at the moment. Thinking of this, Li Zan couldn't help but smile, then said calmly with a smile. Three, is there anything you want to say to me? Li Zan's words fell, and he saw the golden-winged Dapung clan's Diluo Jingxin, who was headed by him, nodded. With a look of embarrassment on his face, he hesitated for a long time before he said in a soft voice. Brother, I see that you have a good temper, so I kindly remind you. There is indeed a 10,000 years ancient tea tree in South Blue that is about to mature, but that ancient tea tree is the treasure of the South Blue Fairy. If Shangtai wants to participate in the competition, please think twice. Golden Winged Dapung's voice was very soft, for fear that Li Munger would listen. Although he had never seen Li Menger deity in the past, but I have also heard of this little princess of the Zhaolong clan. Don't look at this little girl who is very sunere on weekdays, and her temper is not too bad but this big Luo Jingxin from the Golden Winged Dapung clan knows that Li Munger is very vengeful. Three years ago, a strong man from the South Blue Yaksha clan had offended her, and as a result, the little princess of the Zhaolong clan chased and killed tens of millions of miles with the older generation of Zhaolong clan, and finally the Yasha king came forward. Stop it. He has long since deviated from his own race, but he has no support from the elders of the Golden Winged Dapung clan. If Li Munger knew that she was chewing her tongue behind her back, I'm afraid she would not give up. It's just that the Golden Winged Dapung clan's Diluo Jingxin can also see that Li Zan is extremely strong, so he kindly reminds him that it can be regarded as a good relationship. Facing the words of the strong man of the Golden Winged Dapung clan, Li Zan was also slightly stunned. He frowned and asked softly, Brother of the Dapung clan, I don't know who the South Blue Fairy you are talking about is sacred. Did you have any grudges with Li Menger in the past? Li Zan is not stupid. At this moment, Li Munger is urging himself to fight for the 10,000 years ancient tea tree. 
the purpose is not very simple. Sure enough, just after Li Zan finished asking, a playful color flashed in the eyes of the strong man of the Dapong clan, and then he spoke through a voice transmission. Brother, do you know something? Li Munger, the little princess of the Zhaolong family, had a big fight with Fairy South Blue, the owner of the ancient tea tree of 10,000 years a few years ago. I heard that it is to compete for an ancient ruins on the seabed of South Blue. In the end, Li Menger lost, so Fairy South Blue taught her lesson. She has been brooding over the years and often goes to see her, so Shangtai I remind you that it is best not to intervene, otherwise, there may be something wrong. Hearing the words of the strong man of the golden-winged Dapung clan, Li Zan looked at the little girl beside him, and couldn't help feeling overwhelmed. I can't tell that this guy is charming and naive on weekdays, but he is also a ruthless character. Even so, Li Zan did not give up. The 10,000 years ancient tea tree is a rare treasure in the world, and it can only mature once every 10,000 years. There are even rumors that some of the powerhouses of Daluo Jingxin, because of their lack of aptitude, cannot break through in their entire lives and become powerhouses at the quasi-sage level. But there are lucky ones who have made great strides all the way because of taking the tea leaves from the ancient tea tree of 10,000 years, and become a generation of supreme. Of course, these are just legends, and Li Zan has never really drank tea from 10,000 years ancient tea tree tea leaves in the past. At this moment, he has some, Li Nuo's, yearning in his heart. Hey, I said Li Zan, you bastard, this girl is asking you something. The 10,000 years ancient tea tree is a treasure that cannot be found, if you miss it this time, I am afraid you will have to wait for one 10,000 years to meet it again. Li Munger saw Li Zan standing in the same place and fell into deep thought, she couldn't help frowning, and Zhao Han said urgently. Haha, since Miss Li Munger invited me, I naturally dare not refuse. Li Zan laughed and then nodded. Under Li Munger's urging, the two went on the road again and went deep into South Blue. Soon, the two appeared outside Fairy South Blue's dojo. From a distance, an overseas island floats up and down between heaven and earth, surrounded by vast and majestic, terrifying and monstrous waves like a giant. And the immortal island was wrapped in the waves, and a towering giant tree could be seen standing on the immortal island, which was undoubtedly the ancient tea tree of 10,000 years. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 330 Black Dragon Prince, by the way, Li Zan. Fairy South Blue is very powerful, we can't be careless this time, we have to sneak in. At this time, Li Munger also became cautious, putting away the carefree appearance of Shanxin. It can be seen that Li Menger seems to be very afraid of the South Blue Fairy. At this moment, an extremely cautious light flashed in her beautiful eyes. Regarding this, Li Zan seemed very indifferent, shrugged lightly, and said with a smile on his shoulders. I told you, since you want to provoke others and snatch their 10,000 years ancient tea tree, but now you look like this, you really embarrass your Flood Dragon clan. HMPH, what do you know? If this fairy South Blue hadn't relied on her extraordinary status, I would have taken the ancestors in our group to clean her up. Facing Li Zan's ridicule at the moment, Li Munger was not angry, but Sunere rolled her eyes, and then snorted in dissatisfaction, with a hint of indignation in her eyes. It can be seen that Li Munger must have suffered a lot from the South Blue Fairy in the past, otherwise she would not be so arrogant. The two were standing on the periphery of this immortal island, but Li Zan's brows were lightly raised. At this moment, under his perception, the defense force on the periphery of this immortal island could be extremely powerful, at least at the level of quasi win. The defensive formation arranged by the strong. Li Zan looked at Li Menger, who was lying motionless on the spot, and asked softly, By the way, what is the cultivation level of this South Blue Fairy? You haven't told me yet, we can't fight an uncertain battle. The words fell, Li Menger tilted her head, she looked at Li Zan, and said with a smile, Don't worry, Fairy South Blue is very weak, not even as good as me. If it weren't for the fact that she had a guardian beast under her hand, which was extremely powerful, this girl would have already cleaned up with her. A powerful guardian beast? This South Blue Fairy doesn't seem to have a simple origin. How strong is that guardian beast? When Li Zan heard Li Menger's comment on Fairy South Blue, his heart moved slightly and he asked curiously. He wouldn't be afraid of a guardian beast, but he didn't want to come to the world of Hongmen and soon became hostile with some powerful forces. Now, although Li Zan has made up his mind to be the raptor, it does not mean that he will fool around to provoke powerful enemies for himself. But looking at Li Munger's appearance at the moment, even if the forces behind Fairy South Blue are strong, I am afraid they are only comparable to the Zhaolong clan. Not long ago, Li Zan had learned from Miss Li Munger that in the Hongmeng world, the Zhaolong clan is very extraordinary, one of the hundred powerful clans, there are ten ancestors of the quasi-sage level, and there is even a saint level ancestor. The old Zhaolong sits in town. If Fairy South Blue is behind such a force, Li Zan, although somewhat apprehensive, doesn't care too much. Don't look at him now that he is only a Da Luo Jingxian level of cultivation, but if he really starts, I am afraid that the combat power will not be lower than the powerhouse of the Quasi Sage Peak. And if Li Zan is willing to go all out, no matter the cost, even a saint can be killed. That woman's guardian beast has an extraordinary origin, 
and its current strength is probably already at the peak of a quasi sage, and I even suspect that it has stepped into the level of a saint. Li Munger tilted her head for a while and then said indifferently, What? A quasi sage peak or even a saint level cultivation? Li Zong was stunned, looking at Li Munger, his eyes became more and more strange. This bitch will really provoke a big enemy to herself. This time, going to Fairy South Blue site to steal the ancient tea tree is probably not an easy job. Even so, Li Zan did not intend to give up the fight for the ancient tea tree. It should be noted that the 10,000 years ancient tea tree is one of the most rare treasures in the world. Li Zan's cultivation base has now reached the peak level of Da Luo Jingxian, and he is only half a step away from stepping into the Holy Spirit. If he can use the tea leaves of the ancient tea tree as a supplementary material, BFDH, I am afraid that when he steps into the quasi sage level, you will definitely get a lot of gains. It is precisely because of this that Li Zan did not leave, even though he knew that this time he was afraid that Li Menger would be used as a thug. Li Menger also seemed to have noticed the change in the expression on Li Zan's face, stuck out his tongue in embarrassment, and said cautiously, Or, let's not bother the South Blue Fairies, let's go. Although she said so, it was obvious that Li Menger didn't want to leave like this. Her big eyes were rolling, maybe she was thinking of some bad idea. Li Zan could only helplessly shrug his shoulders, sighed, and smiled wryly. Leave now? Can you still leave? The words fell, and he pointed around, only to see that at this moment, dozens of extremely powerful auras suddenly appeared in all directions. These breaths swept across the 100,000 mile radius of the overseas immortal island. They're vast and majestic, like the essence, so that all those who dare to hide their wrongdoings have nowhere to hide. Of course, Li Zan and Li Menger are not included in this list. At the moment when these ten powerful breaths appeared, Li Menger took out a bell and blocked it towards the sky. In an instant, Ling Zan wrapped Li Zan and Li Menger, and the two of them suddenly disappeared between heaven and earth, as if they had never existed, not even a breath. Seeing this, Li Zan is also amazed. It seems that Li Munger, as the little princess of the Flood Dragon clan, has quite a few good treasures in her hands. This bitch, now running to snatch the ancient tea tree of enlightenment, she is just looking for trouble. Having said that, Li Zan is also happy not to do it himself. Right now, Suddenly, a terrifying and majestic voice sounded from above the sky. He Fangxiao's generation dares to spy on Fairy South Blue's dojo, doesn't he want to live? After the words fell, I saw a towering young man in golden armor emerging from the sky. Li Zan couldn't help being surprised, he thought he was exposed, but then not far from the two of them, suddenly there was an equally extraordinary aura. It was a middle-aged Taoist with a face with a pointed mouth and monkey cheeks. I saw him dodging towards the distance at the moment, and he laughed and said provocatively. What is Fairy South Blue? I'm here to snatch the ancient tea tree of 10,000 years this time, sir, I see who of you can stop me. Boldly, thief. I just don't want to live, the young man in the golden armor looked angry and chased after him in an instant. The two chased and fled, and soon disappeared. Seeing the scene in front of him, Li Zan's expression became even more strange. It seems that this South Blue Fairy is really not easy, there are so many young talents willing to protect her. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 331. It's so scary, Fairy South Blue is getting more and more terrifying, and even the little prince of the Black Dragon family came to protect her. Now, seeing that the two disappeared, Li Munger removed the bell pin that covered the two of them, and said coldly with a puffed look. Li Munger and the young man in golden armor seemed to be old acquaintances, but they came to South Blue Fairy to protect the way, just like licking a dog, very dissatisfied. Is the Black Dragon clan strong? At this moment, hearing Li Munger's words, Li Zan's heart moved slightly and he asked curiously. It's not that strong, it's even worse than our Zhaolong clan, but the ancestors of the Black Dragon clan were split from the Orthodox Dragon clan, so they have been able to rank among the top 100 races over the years. Li Munger said softly. The words fell, and the two secretly dived towards the South Blue Immortal Island. This time, with the breath of the two men concealed by the bell pin in Li Munger's hand, the whole journey was smooth and unobstructed, and no one was found, and it was very smooth to board the South Blue Immortal Island. The moment he landed on South Blue Shundao, Li Zan also realized how extraordinary this place is. I can only see that the spiritual energy of the heaven and the earth is as strong as the substance, and it should not be too abundant. Compared with the world where Li Zan once lived, this place can be called a paradise on earth. At this moment, Li Zan's pores opened up, greedily absorbing the spiritual energy of the world on Tai Island, but in just a short while, the aura around his body became stronger again. Li Zan originally came from a decaying world where the spiritual energy of heaven and earth was depleted. The world he once lived in was in the era of the end of the law, and there was not too much spiritual energy of heaven and earth to supply him for cultivation. But the world of Hongmeng is different, the world level here is far beyond the imagination of the world. Even Li Zan doubts that Hongmeng world's ability to be ranked among the top 100 in the heavens and the world is subtle. Hey, Li Zan, did I say you're really from the first continent? Do you want to look like a country bumpkin? Seeing Li Zan practicing so recklessly, Li Menger couldn't help but tease. She had a smile on her pretty face, 
At this moment, Li Menger can completely judge that this guy Li Zan never told the truth earlier, he must not be from the first continent. It should be noted that there are hundreds of continents in the entire Hongmeng world, but the first continent is the most powerful, and the concentration of spiritual energy is thousands of times stronger than here. But at this moment, Li Zan looks like he has never seen the world before, how can he behave like a strong man from the first continent should have? Haha, <laughs> it's good that Miss Li Munger knows, you don't need to say it, what's the use of dismantling me like this? Can't you think I'm from the first continent? Li Zan shrugged, did not hide it, just smiled lightly and said calmly. Nowadays, the relationship between the two can be described as extremely cordial, so Li Zan does not want to make too much cover up when facing Li Menger. The so-called first continent is nothing but an identity he made up. But at this moment, Li Zan did not reveal his true origin. After all, for these native creatures in Hongmeng world, Li Zan is equivalent to a demon from outside the realm. If people know this important identity, I am afraid that they will not use the power of the rules of heaven to obliterate him. Just the hundred powerful clans in the Hongmeng world can't help but want to take action and capture him completely. Earlier, Li Zan had already learned from Li Menger that it was not without people from outside the territory who came to this place over the years. It's just that most of them were caught by the top 100 race powerhouses in the Hongmeng world before they could break out into the world. Cut. You are a big liar, this girl doesn't care where you come from, but South Blue is my girl's territory. If you are not obedient, don't blame me for asking my ancestors to come out and clean you up. At this moment, Li Munger rolled her eyes and said with a smile. Just facing her seemingly threatening words at the moment, Li Zan didn't care too much, raised his hand and rubbed Li Menger's head. Facing Li Zan's boldness, Li Munger seemed very dissatisfied, and pouted and whispered, it's so annoying. And just when the two were a little relaxed, a terrifying and powerful aura suddenly swept through the world. Asterisk Tay. Li Zan narrowed his eyes slightly, turned around abruptly, and looked at a certain sea surface outside the immortal island of South Blue. At this moment, there, a fiery cloud appeared between the heavenly palace, as if burning, with a powerful and terrifying aura, forcing it towards the South Blue immortal island. At the same time, there are ten powerful and majestic breaths rising from the depths of the South Blue Immortal Island again. Not only the dozens of golden immortals that were perceived by Li Zan and Li Menger, but also two quasi-sage level powerhouses were mixed with them this time. Soon, a strong voice with a hint of vicissitude sounded from the South Blue Fairy to the depths. Point zero. Where is the distinguished guest who came to my South Blue Shundao and what is the purpose? Now I am not accepting guests from South Blue County Island, please leave quickly, otherwise don't blame me for waiting ruthlessly. This voice is very low, but there is a domineering arrogance between the words. Just facing the threatening words of the strong man in the depths of South Blue, the uninvited guest hiding in the fiery cloud seemed very indifferent, without the slightest fear, smiled strangely, and then said. Haha, I heard that fairy South Blue has a 10,000 years ancient tea tree that is about to mature in the near future. I don't want to send me a hundred pieces of tea leaves, so just leave, otherwise don't blame me for destroying this place. The voice of the incoming person is also extremely powerful, and the breath suddenly burst out from the body, and the world seems to be moving in an instant. This person has a great background, and the aura on his body is actually comparable to that of a quasi-saint level powerhouse. At this moment, the strong man from the depths of South Blue was also silent. Soon, another more powerful aura was coming out from the depths of South Blue. In Li Zan's sight, a towering palm emerged from the sky and grabbed it out of thin air towards the burning cloud. At this moment, it was as if time stood still. I saw that the strong man in the burning cloud, no longer able to calm down and full of wine, let out a strange cry, and turned around to escape from here. In the next instant, he was caught by that towering palm and turned into a cloud of blood, superior. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 332 was discovered the air became quiet in an instant. The person who shot in the depths of South Blue's immortal island can be described as incomparably cold and ruthless. During the conversation, the strong man hiding in the burning cloud was completely beheaded. A quasi-saint level powerhouse just vanished into thin air and completely fell to the sky. Suddenly, there was a rain of blood drifting between the heavens and the earth, and the extremely rich smell of blood permeated the noses of Li Zan and Li Menger. At this moment, Li Menger swallowed her saliva with difficulty. This little princess of the Jiaolong clan, who has always been fearless and fearless, also had a flash of fear in her eyes. Although Li Menger is a bit domineering in his work style on weekdays, he doesn't have too many bad intentions. Even if it was cleaned up badly by the South Blue Fairy in the past, this time I came to the South Blue Immortal Island and wanted to steal the 10,000 years ancient tea tree, but I just planned to steal dozens of leaves, and then make some troubles, just run. But now it seems that Li Menger's plan cannot be completed. She looked at Li Zan and said cautiously, why don't we escape, unexpectedly, the old fairy of South Blue woke up early. This old guy is extremely powerful. Even if my ancestors came. I am afraid he is not his opponent. It can be seen that the little princess of the Jiaolong family is really scared. And the old South Blue Fairy that Li Menger said is the ancestor of the South Blue Fairy. It is said that he is a strong man at the peak level of a saint, but he has been sleeping all these years. 
It is precisely because of this that Li Menger dared to take Li Zan to the immortal island of South Blue, wanting to steal the ancient tea tree of 10,000 years. But now it's different, the old fairy of South Blue has woken up. Not to mention Li Munger, even if their ancestors really came, I'm afraid it's just as Li Munger said just now, they can't help this old South Blue fairy. Escape. Why are we running away? There is a way to seek wealth and risk? Now that the old South Blue immortals have woken up, their current vigilance will inevitably drop, so it is a good opportunity for us to get it easily. Also, didn't you just say that the South Blue Fairy is very pretty? I'm really curious if this South Blue Fairy is as frightened as the legend. Li Zan shook his head, his eyes were bright, and he spoke softly. Li Zan's words made Li Menger feel a little flabbergasted, this guy is really insane. Old immortal South Blue was already a saint level powerhouse long before he counted 10,000 years. If he finds out that the two of them are so daring to steal the 10,000 years ancient tea tree, I am afraid that even the flood dragons will not be able to protect them, too. Li Zan, this is no joke. You don't know, the old immortal South Blue has a very bad temper. At first, because a quasi sage level powerhouse scolded him behind his back, he was chased and killed for tens of millions of miles by him, and finally he was deeply beheaded, killed. Now that we really want to steal his 10,000 years ancient tea tree, I am afraid there will be no good results. Li Munger's voice was a little anxious, and she persuaded her with good words. She also regretted it very much in her heart. If she knew that the old immortal South Blue had awakened, she would not have taken Li Zan to steal the ancient tea tree of 10,000 years. Although Li Munger and Fairy South Blue were very incompatible in the past, it was because the old Fairy South Blue had not woken up. It should be noted that the old Fairy of South Blue is the most protective of his shortcomings. If he knows that he has been targeting South Blue Fairy in every possible way over the years, I am afraid that old guy will not forgive him. Thinking of this, Li Menger didn't want to ignore it and left Li Zan to run away. But in the end, Yin Ya clenched his scalp and stayed, but Li Menger's face was not very good looking at the moment, she stared at Li Zan and said faintly. Li Zan, you have thought about it, if you are caught by the old fairy of South Blue, this girl can't save you. Don't worry, Miss Li Munger, this time, I won't make a move if I'm not sure about it. If you have a girl's family to protect you, then I can't mess around. Li Zan seemed very indifferent, shrugged his shoulders lightly and said, as the two talked, they dived deep into South Blue. It was just the next moment, before the two could get close to the ancient 10,000 years tea tree that was about to mature, when they suddenly saw a figure blocking their way. It was a grinning old man, exuding a vast and majestic aura all over his body, his silver hair draped over his shoulders, and he looked quite immortal. The moment he saw the old man, Li Menger jumped three feet high like a cat whose tail had been stepped on, and quickly hid behind Li Zan. Haha, who is this old man, it turns out to be the little princess of the Zhaolong clan. Little guy. I haven't seen you for so many years, why is your courage getting smaller and smaller? I won't really eat it, why are you so afraid of me? The old man couldn't help laughing when he looked at Li Munger who looked terrified at the moment, his eyes were very kind, but there was a hint of ridicule in his words. At this moment, Li Menger also mustered up the courage to emerge from behind Li Zan and whispered. Junior Li Menger, I have seen Senior South Blue, my ancestor asked me to say hello to you on his behalf. He, that old Zhaolong said hello to me, he wants me to die. The old fairy of South Blue left, and there was no sign of anger, it could be seen that he was very friendly to the Zhaolong family. It was the next moment that he turned his attention to Li Zan. At this moment, it was Li Zan, who had the cultivation level of Da Luo Jingxian to protect his body, and he didn't feel cold all over. This little guy is very face to face, it looks like he doesn't look like someone from my third continent. Little girl Li Menger, is this your friend? South Blue looked at Li Zan, smiled slightly, and said calmly, a golden light flashed in the depths of his eyes, as if he could see through all the secrets of Li Zan in his heart. Sure enough, as long as the cultivation base reaches the realm of saints, no one is a simple role. At this moment, facing the investigation of South Blue's old fairy, Li Zan seemed extremely indifferent. In the depths of the sea of knowledge, a round bead suddenly radiated soft rays of light, completely covering his sea of knowledge, so that the old fairy South Blue could not see the slightest flaw. Facing the old immortal South Blue, Li Zan also appeared neither humble nor arrogant, without the slightest bit of fear, only to see him smile calmly and bow his head in a salute. As Senior said, this junior is indeed not from the third continent. I'm from the first continent, and this time I heard that the ancient tea trees of 10,000 years are about to mature on South Blue Shundao, so I came here to find out. Li Zan's voice was very soft, but it fell into the ears of the old South Blue, but this old generation strongman who was invincible in the world couldn't help but be slightly taken aback. This young man is not simple. It is rare in the world to be able to be so calm under the pressure of his own breath. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 333 Ah, uh, little brother, your tone is not small. It is true that there are 10,000 years ancient tea trees on my South Blue Fairy Island that are about to mature, but do you think you can get it? Looking at Li Zan, the old fairy of South Blue smiled slightly, and then there were two rays of divine light in his eyes, like flames, shrouded in Li Zan. 
This scene fell into the eyes of Lee Munger beside her, which made her a little anxious, her eyes were full of concern, and she was about to shout to stop. But in the next moment, he saw Li Xuanxuan smiling slightly, stepping forward, and in an instant, an invisible wall appeared out of thin air in front of him. The two rays of divine light in the eyes of the South Blue Old Fairy were blocked, and in an instant, the world was in turmoil. As a sage-level powerhouse, Shea Gravala's strength cannot be described as incompetent. It is precisely because of this that with his awakening, no one dares to approach the South Blue Immortal Island. But at this moment, he has met a really difficult opponent. It can be seen that after Li Zan blocked the divine light from the 15 South Blue Old Fairy, he shot again in an instant. Although Li Zan only has the cultivation level of Da Luo Jingxin, his combat power can be described as unparalleled. Even the quasi-sage peak is not his opponent. I can't see it, you do have some skills, no wonder you dare to break into my South Blue Immortal Island. Little guy, if you stop now and call the old man a senior, maybe I can give you a chance. It seems that he also realized Li Zan's extraordinary ness. At this moment, a touch of admiration flashed in the eyes of the old South Blue. Just now, he just wanted to test it out, but now that he knows Li Zan's skills, he has a love for talent and wants to use it for himself. Now with the recovery of the old fairy of South Blue, the immortal island of South Blue will inevitably expand outwards, which is the time when there is a shortage of manpower. If you can get the help of a young talent like Li Zan, the expansion of South Blue's immortal island will definitely be faster and faster in the future. Facing the invitation of the old fairy from South Blue, Li Zan shook his head gently, a slight arc appeared on the corner of his mouth, and then said calmly. I understand the kindness of the seniors, but I am determined to be in all directions, not limited to one island and one sea, so I hope the seniors don't embarrass me. Since the elders of the ancient tea tree of South Blue are not willing to let others get involved, then I will not make up my mind anymore, and I will leave here. The moment the words fell, I saw Li Zan bowing his hands to the old fairy of South Blue, and then he was going to take Li Menger to the outside of the immortal island of South Blue. Just before he could turn around, a powerful aura suddenly enveloped Li Zan completely, and then an incomparably deep and majestic voice suddenly came from the depths of the immortal island of South Blue. I just want to go, do I really want to come and leave when I want to go to South Blue immortal island? The words fell, and an extremely rough figure emerged. This was a middle-aged man in golden armor. He was very mighty and extraordinary, and his aura was extremely powerful. South Blue's old fairy is just a little weaker. And his status is also very high in the South Blue Fairy Island. During the period of time when the old fairy of South Blue was sleeping, except for the fairy of South Blue, this person was in charge. He is the eldest son of the old fairy of South Blue, and his name is South Blue God of War. South Blue God of War, what do you want to do? Is it a fart to be an old man? This young man wants to go and let him go? My South Blue Immortal Island has just fully recovered now, and it is not appropriate to be an enemy of outsiders. Seeing that the South Blue God of War suddenly blocked it, waiting for Li Zan to make a move. Beside him, the old immortal South Blue frowned slightly and said coldly. Facing the South Blue old immortal, the South Blue God of War, he did not dare to be slighted at all, he walked forward quickly, knelt down in front of the South Blue old immortal, and said respectfully. Father, although South Blue is fully recovered now, once the news spreads to let people know that father has woken up ahead of time, I am afraid that a strong enemy will come to attack, so they can't go. Confront the words of the South Blue Ares. The eyes of the old immortal South Blue also flickered slightly. As the South Blue God of War said, now his South Blue Immortal Island does have a strong man in charge, but he has only recovered himself. Compared with the old generation of saints who have always been in the sky, he is still inferior. If people know that his strength has fully recovered, I am afraid that the enemy of the year will be drawn to target the South Blue Immortal Island. So at this moment, he couldn't help but smile bitterly, looked at Li Zan and Li Menger beside him and said calmly. In this case, I wonder if you can stay in my South Blue Fairy Island for a while. Don't worry, I won't embarrass the two of you during this time. And when I send the two away in the future, I am willing to take out a hundred pieces of tea leaves from the ancient 10,000 years tea tree in return. His voice was very sincere. Li Zan was very relieved to be so soft on a saint level powerhouse, nodded, and then without a moment's hesitation, he smiled slightly and said slowly. Since the senior said so, then I will obey, I just hope that the seniors will keep their promises, and let me leave after the seniors fully recover. Otherwise, even if the fish die and the net breaks, I will let South Blue pay a heavy price for the first arrival. There's a hint of hockey in Li Zan's voice. The moment the words fell, the breath of Diluo Jingxian's peak suddenly burst out. At this moment, even the world changes color. Beside Li Zan, Li Menger opened her mouth slightly. Although she knew that Li Zan was extremely powerful, but now that he has truly seen Li Zan's power, Li Menger realizes that he still underestimated this guy in the past. Haha. <laughs> The cultivation of young people is extraordinary, but don't worry, I have always said what I said, and I will never break my promise. It's just that these two days are going to be wrong, so take care of them on my island. I will definitely receive the two of you with the highest standards, and I will not let you suffer the slightest grievance. Old Xi'an South Blue looked at the terrifying aura of Li Zan, his pupils could not help but shrank slightly and laughed, and said boldly. 
At this moment, even he was shocked after seeing Li Zan's true power. He has lived countless long years and has seen the rise of countless geniuses, but those people are much weaker than Li Zan. It can be said that Li Zan is the most invincible of all the geniuses that South Blue has ever seen. Wait, who said we were going to stay? Senior South Blue, my ancestor will be 3 million years old in one month. If I can't rush back to congratulate him on his birthday, and I don't have enough gifts as compensation, I'm afraid my ancestors will be unhappy. Not long after Li Zan agreed to the old fairy of South Blue, beside him, Li Menger rolled his eyes, then smiled slightly, and walked over to talk. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 334 Haha, Li Munger, you little girl has a good plan. My ancestors, I have been sleeping all these years, and there is no one guarding this place except my son and granddaughter in South Blue Fairy Island. Even if there are treasures, most of them have been lost over the years. You want to blackmail the old man, I really have nothing good. Seeing Lee Menger's performance so cunning, South Blue's old immortal couldn't help but be slightly taken aback, and then he laughed. It's just that his words fell, and after he pondered for a while, he saw old fairy South Blue's palm slightly raised. In an instant, countless rays of light bloomed on the entire South Blue immortal island. And at this moment, on the palm of the South Blue old fairy, a golden ball with a brilliant name appeared. This bead is very extraordinary, and there is a faint treasure light circulating in it. And the vision of heaven and earth that was triggered just now was caused by this bead. It is precisely because of this that when he saw this bead, Rao Shi Li Zan couldn't help but be slightly stunned. Because under his induction, this golden bead faintly echoed with the chaos bead in his mind. There is no doubt that this is a supreme treasure, absolutely extraordinary. But at this moment, Li Zan did not show any strangeness. Beside him, Li Munger ran forward happily, grabbed the golden bead, and said with a smile. Thank you, Senior South Blue, for giving me the orb. I will definitely give it to my ancestors and tell him that this is the heart of Senior South Blue. After finishing speaking, Li Munger was afraid that she would be asked to go back by the old fairy of South Blue, so she hurriedly put the golden beads into her storage ring. Seeing Li Munger like this, the South Blue old fairy just smiled and shook his head, and said with some ridicule. You girl is still as weird as before. This bead is just for you, but it was obtained by chance in a certain ruins in the past, and it has no other great use except to calm the mind during cultivation. You give your ancestors a daughter that he probably won't think is so precious. Li Munger stuck out her tongue, but she didn't intend to return the golden beads. It can be seen that he also loves this golden bead very much. As for whether the bead will be given to the ancestors of their Jiaolong clan as the old fairy of South Blue said, then it is up to Li Menger. The old South Blue won't interfere too much. Seeing the scene in front of him, Li Zan's heart moved slightly, a touch of uncle appeared on the corner of his mouth, and he asked calmly. Senior South Blue, I don't know where you got this golden bead from the ruins. I think it is very extraordinary, don't you feel bad for you to give it to Li Menger like this? Haha, <laughs> this bead isn't worth much, I haven't found it to have any effect other than being able to calm the mind. If Li Munger's little girl can carry forward her brilliance, then it is his chance, and I will not envy it. Old immortal South Blue smiled and said lightly, it can be seen that he does not feel much distress about giving out such a supreme orb. Speaking of which, he paused slightly, as if recalling, and thought for a while, and then slowly spoke. As for, getting its ancient ruins, it's not far from here, and it's also in the South Blue. It is said that it was the ancestral land of the ancient dragon clan in the past, and it was later abandoned. The strong people who are not the Deluo Jinxian or above are not allowed to enter. Over the years, many people have also gone there to look for treasures, but they have found nothing. And this golden bead was obtained by chance when I was exploring this ancient ruin. The words fell, and the old immortal South Blue didn't say more, raised his hand and waved to go out, and said lightly. The two of you, I'm a guest from afar. Let's go to my South Blue Palace to rest for a while, and then talk about it. My granddaughter is also among them, you are of the same generation and you should have a good communication, maybe you can become friends. Who knew that the words of the old fairy of South Blue fell, and saw Lee Menger lowered his head and muttered in a low voice. Who wants to be friends with that crazy woman, he beat me up badly. After speaking, she seemed a little embarrassed, and Lee Munger's little face couldn't help but turn red. Seeing this, the old fairy of South Blue and the god of war of South Blue didn't care either. The two giants of South Blue Shundao smiled at each other, and then took Li Zan and Li Menger to the palace deep in South Blue Shundao. Soon, a majestic palace appeared in front of everyone. This is a palace entirely constructed of colored glaze, like a fairyland on earth, with a faint radiance flowing on it. And the aura here is richer than anything Li Zan has ever seen in the past. At this moment, there is a graceful figure standing in front of this palace, like a fairy in the world, and there is usually a smell of dust all over her body. Seeing South Blue's old suspect, South Blue's god of war, this fairy-like girl, hurried forward and smiled lightly. Haha, <laughs> the girl doesn't know how to salute when she sees a guest. When South Blue saw the girl in front of him, a doting color flashed in his eyes, and then he pointed to Li Zan and Li Menger behind him. It's just that when Li Munger saw him at this moment, 
This fairy-like girl exuded a sturdy smell all over her body like fried hair, and said with a cold snort. Crazy woman. Long time no see. It's you wild girl. You dare to come to my South Blue Immortal Island. Don't you think the lesson you taught you wasn't enough? Seeing Lee Munger, the immortal-like girl's face also turned slightly cold. But at this moment, the old immortal South Blue couldn't help shaking his head, raised his hand, and separated the two girls, and then said with a helpless bitter smile. Lu Li girl, what is the conflict between you and Li Munger little girl? Patriarch, when I was sleeping all these years, did this little girl often come to you to play? King's Zhao, what do you mean to play with me? Grandfather, you don't know, this wild girl of the Zhaolong tribe is broken. He sneaked into our South Blue Shundao several times and stole my South Blue Shundao's ancient tea trees. The girl who was like a fairy descended from the earth, when she heard her grandfather's words, her eyebrows twitched slightly. Li Munger, who looked like a little wild cat not far away from the glaring person, then snorted in dissatisfaction, her eyes full of hostility and said. Cut, who cares? This girl just heard that the tea from the 10,000 years ancient tea tree in your South Blue Immortal Island is better to drink, so I admired my face and took a few pieces. Who knows that you will pick me up without asking indiscriminately, do you have any reason? That is, I can't beat you, otherwise you think you can still laugh after all these years, and I promise to make you cry very rhythmically. Lee Menger is not to be outdone. Even if this is Fairy South Blue's territory, she doesn't have any fear, with her hands on her hips, she is very sturdy. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 335 South Blue recruits a son-in-law, haha, ha, it's just a dispute between the juniors. It made Taoist Li Zan a little laugh. At this moment, seeing the two girls constantly fighting each other, South Blue couldn't help but smile, looked at Li Zan next to him and said calmly. Although Li Zan is not very old, but as the most powerful Da Luo Jin Xian, South Blue Lao Xian actually has a relationship with him and his peers. This really surprised the South Blue God of War and the South Blue Fairy beside him. Grandfather. Why did you bring this wild girl and this young man beside him to our South Blue Immortal Island? These two guys are not good people. Fairy South Blue was still a little angry at this time. Her pre face was as cold as frost. She stared at Lee Menger and Lee Zan, snorted in dissatisfaction, and hugged old Fairy South Blue's arm like a spoiled child. Faced with this, Lee Munger also glared back, looking like she had suffered a lot of grievances. Seeing the two of them like this, Zan just shook his head helplessly and smiled. It can be seen that Lee Munger must have provoked Fairy South Blue a lot in the past, but she is not strong enough. Nine times out of ten, she is beaten, so 607 has such a big temper. Lee Zan knows Lee Menger well, and knows that this girl is not someone who suffers a loss, but now that she is on other people's territory, it's better to be safe. Without any hesitation, Lee Zan didn't care too much about his being affected by Caillou, patted Lee Menger's head, smiled kindly at Fairy South Blue, and said slowly. Lu Lee Fairy, Lee Zan, please give me more advice. HMPH. I don't dare, I just hope you two are more honest in my South Blue Immortal Island. Otherwise, this girl is rude to you. Facing Li Zan's kindness, Fairy South Blue didn't appreciate it at all, and Sunere raised her chin, snorted coldly, and said. As soon as the words fell, he saw him walking into the magnificent glazed hall first. Seeing the scene in front of him, the South Blue God of War also sighed helplessly. His daughter is like this, and her temper has never changed. If you put it in the past, even the father who is himself will be killed, but it's no surprise. And when he actually walked into the Hall of Glazed Glass, Li Zan realized how extraordinary South Blue Immortal Island is. BFDH, at the moment. Inside the hall is very noisy, countless figures gather here, many of them are famous young talents from South Blue and the Third Continent. Not long ago, the little prince of the Heilong clan who wore golden armor to fight was also here. His long fiery red hair fluttered in the wind, and the expression on his face was extremely unruly, but when he saw Li Zan and Li Menger, his face really couldn't help. When he changed, he turned around quickly, as if he wanted to pretend he didn't know him. See so. Li Zan seemed very indifferent, he was just a smuggler who smuggled into Hongmeng world. The little prince of the Heilong clan will naturally not recognize him, so there is no doubt that the little prince of the Heilong clan must be avoiding the little girl next to him, Li Menger. Li Munger snorted in dissatisfaction when she saw Prince Heilong's performance at this time, walked forward quickly, kicked the little prince of Heilong clan on the knee, and Hockey asked. Big Black Dragon. Why didn't you come to say hello when you saw this county master? Don't you want to hang out? I said auntie, save me some face. This time I came to the South Blue Immortal Island, but it was the strongest among our peers. It's a bit inappropriate for you to embarrass me like this. Facing the menacing Li Menger, the little prince of the Heilong clan acted somewhat submissive, as if he was very afraid of Li Menger and said helplessly. HMPH, why does the princess save face for you? When we came to you and our Zhaolong family to propose marriage, we wanted to marry my sister. Now that you have come to the immortal island of South Blue to show hospitality to the dead girl Liuli, you are really caring enough, you are not afraid that I will go back and tell my sister. Li Menger's little girl is very sturdy, and she sneered with her hands on her hips and threatened. 
Little princess, I have no luck with your sister. At the beginning, I just said that, but you two sisters chased them from South Blue to the Third Continent with knives. After all these years, can you see that I have been to your Zhaolong clan again? Just spare my life? The little prince of the Black Dragon clan shrugged, his face was bitter, but the words fell, and he raised the hair in front of his forehead in high spirits, and then he said very boldly. Yu Dao is a fair lady, a gentleman strikes, now that my sister and I have no relationship, naturally I have to think about my own lifelong events. Fairy South Blue is even more beautiful than your sister, she is my number one beauty in South Blue. There are countless people who want to pursue her, and I am just one of them. Why are you targeting me? When the words fell, he pointed to a slender young man with an unruly face not far away, and he wanted to lead the way. Did you see it? It's not just me, even the powerhouses of the Zulong clan are here. If you have the ability, you can go and trouble others. Why are you staring at me? Cut, do you think this girl dares not? Just look for it. With that said, Li Munger aggressively walked towards the young powerhouse of the ancestral dragon clan. Seeing the scene in front of him, Li Zong quickly grabbed him. Under his perception, the strength of that young man with an unruly face can be said to be extremely powerful, and the aura on his body is at the quasi-saint level. If you really go to trouble with others, ten Li Munger bundled together are not enough to be beaten with one hand. Li Zan, why are you blocking me? Are you afraid that I will suffer? It doesn't matter, I will provoke him later, you can just beat him up for me. Seeing Li Zan stop her, Li Menger pouted in dissatisfaction and whispered. I said eldest sister, you can't stop for a while. Don't you see it yet? This time, South Blue Shundao took advantage of the maturity of the ancient tea trees of 10,000 years, and invited young talents from all over the world to come here. There is a saying that it is better to demolish ten temples than to break a marriage, now you are going to trouble others, and you really want to ruin such a beautiful thing. You are not afraid that the seniors of South Blue will try your best to find you. Li Zan pressed Li Menger's shoulder, put his head against her ear and said softly. What did you say, Li Yuli, this dead girl wants to recruit a son-in-law. Hearing these words, Li Munger's very beautiful eyes suddenly widened, and then she laughed with some schadenfreude. This woman once said that she would never marry, but now it seems that she is going to slap her face. No, this girl must make fun of her, after speaking, Li Munger trotted all the way to the depths of the Liuli Hall. That's where the South Blue Fairy's house is, thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 336 After a while, Li Menger went back and forth, but at this moment her interest seemed not as high as before, she was a little lethargic, and even Li Zan called her a few times as if she didn't hear it. Seeing Li Menger like this, Li Zan just shook his head and smiled, this girl was surprised again by the South Blue Fairy. I didn't think much about it, Li Zan was patrolling the hall. It has to be said that the various forces in the Hongmeng world are extremely powerful, and they deserve to be a high-level civilized world. Even the heritage of a force in the immortal island of South Blue is more powerful than all the powerful sects and forces in the world where Li Zan once lived. All in all, it's even more powerful. At this moment, just under Li Zan's perception, there are dozens of strong men with cultivation level above Diluo Jingshan dormant and guarding in the dark. There's no doubt that these are the heritage of South Blue's immortal island. With the power of a sect of South Blue Shundao, he can have more than a dozen Da Luo Jingshan, which is completely unimaginable in the world Li Zan once lived in. But now South Blue Shundao can do it, one can imagine how powerful and extraordinary the Hongmeng world is. At this moment, a figure suddenly caught Li Zan's attention. It was a woman with long blue hair, looking like she was out of place in this world. Her facial features are very delicate, like the beauty of the world, and the expression on her face is also very calm, like a fairy in the world. But at this moment, Li Zan inexplicably felt that there was a sense of deja vu in this woman. I have to admit that this woman is very beautiful, and her facial features are as delicate as a fairy walking out of a painting. Li Zan was a little surprised that these two extreme scenes appeared in the same person. The woman also seemed to have caught Li Zan's gaze, she turned around and smiled slightly, then walked slowly forward, looked at Li Zan and asked softly. Hello, this son, do we know each other, why do you give me a familiar feeling? And the moment the woman opened her mouth to speak. The chaotic bead in Li Zan's mind suddenly kept beating. Faced with this, Li Zan was horrified. Could it be that this woman has some inexplicable connection with the Chaos Pearl? Although his heart was already turbulent, Li Zan's face was still calm at this moment, he smiled and shook his head and said lightly. This fairy, maybe you've got the wrong person. I've only been here in South Blue for a while, and I'm not familiar with the local forces in South Blue, I don't know the fairy's name. Hearing Li Zan's remarks, the fairy-like blue-haired woman also nodded lightly, then smiled and stretched out her hand, speaking lightly. Under, Zhang Jingyi, it's nice to meet you, Zhang Jingyi, it's a good name. Li Zan nodded and spoke softly, and at this moment, in his mind, the chaos orb finally stopped beating, but it only sent out an unprecedented strong emotion, as if he wanted to get close to the woman in front of him. Even more intimate than the owner of Li Zan, at this moment. Li Zan looked at the woman who claimed to be Zhang Jingyi and became more and more suspicious. 
The origin of this chaos bead can be described as extraordinary, even Li Zan has been master chaos bead for a long time, but now he still does not know how powerful the effect of chaos bead is. But one thing is certain, this chaos orb is the key to enabling people to step out of the highest realm. But the woman in front of her has a special connection with the chaos pearl, maybe this chaos pearl really has something to do with Zhang Jingyi's ancestors. I don't know why, but I always feel that the young master is familiar, and it gives me a very close feeling, which has never happened in the past. Zhang Jingyi stared at Li Zan with a pair of beautiful eyes, her voice was very soft, with a hint of sweetness, but falling into Li Zan's ears made him subconsciously want to continue to distance herself from this woman. Because the chaos pearl may really be the ancestor of this woman, if so, once it is discovered, I don't know how to deal with it. So at this moment, Li Zan just nodded slightly and said calmly. Miss Zhang Jingyi is joking, I'm just a loose cultivator, and this time I was lucky enough to enter the South Blue Immortal Island. Compared with Zhang Jingyi's status, it's a distance from heaven and earth, so it's good for us to meet. Just now, Li Zan already knew the origin of Zhang Jingyi, the descendant of a peerless civilization of a super ancient era in the first continent. And his ancestors are still alive, and he is also a supreme level existence in the first continent. Not long ago, Li Zan claimed to be a loose cultivator from the first continent, but now it seems that if he really gets too close to Zhang Jingyi, not only the secrets in the chaos will be exposed, but even his own identity will be exposed. Thinking of this, although Li Zan has the intention to continue to explore the origins of the forces behind this woman, so as to unearth the deeper secrets of the Chaos Pearl, but he is also extremely vigilant. He didn't hesitate any longer, he simply stopped staying, turned around and was about to leave. Facing Li Zan's indifference, Zhang Jingyi was also slightly stunned. Zhang Jingyi is the most famous and top 10 peerless beauty on the first mainland beauty list. In the long years of the past, no other sex has ever treated her like this. Whenever he is close to him, he will show that scorching possessiveness, but Li Zan is different, he even takes the initiative to stay away from himself, which makes Zhang Jingyi feel a little lost. She was about to open her mouth to stop Li Zan, but her brows were slightly wrinkled. Because a figure sprang out first and shot directly at Li Zan, with a roar from his mouth. Boy, Fairy Zhang is talking to you to give you face, but you are so ignorant, I don't mean to teach you a lesson. A thunderous voice resounded in the hall, and a terrifying and majestic aura erupted in an instant, it turned out to be the cultivation base of Da Luo Jingxin. At this moment, all the people who are qualified to appear in this hall are South Blue and the peerless geniuses of the first continent and the third continent, all belong to the leaders of the younger generation. Everyone is so arrogant and arrogant, now that they see someone arguing, everyone's eyes are on Li Zan and the owner of this thunderous voice. Afterwards, Li Zan felt a vast and majestic pressure suddenly coming from behind him, and the attack like a storm surged up behind him. Without the slightest hesitation, Li Zan turned around abruptly and slapped forward with a palm. In an instant, an explosion resounded throughout the audience. Superior. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running. Chapter 337 Golden Winged Dapung Boom Inside the hall, there was a terrifying wave that sounded like a shocking thunder. Li Zan and the owner of that thunderous voice each took a few steps back. Until this time, Li Zan finally saw the face of the other party. It can be said that the visitor is very extraordinary, it is a handsome young man with a pair of golden wings. Looking at Li Zan, a terrifying killing intent flashed in his eyes, and there was a sneer at the corner of his mouth. At this moment, Li Xuanzi also frowned tightly together. The world of Hongmeng is different from the world where Li Zan used to live. The world-class civilization here is very high, and there are thousands of intelligent races. The young man with golden wings in front of him does not seem to be a pure-blooded human race, but his strength can be described as very formidable, and he is able to burst out a powerful attack that is comparable to 607, compared to the quasi-sacred level with the cultivation of Da Luo Jingxian level. Just now, if it weren't for Li Zan, if any strong person below the quasi-sage was attacked like this, I'm afraid that even if he didn't die, he would be seriously injured and damaged. Thinking of this, Li Zan couldn't help but feel a faint anger and murderous aura in his heart. This guy doesn't even ask indiscriminately, he just shoots viciously, this is completely because he wants his own life. He looked at this strange guy who looked like a big bird in front of him and couldn't help asking in a cold voice. Do you want to die? Haha, <laughs> Fairy Zhang is a peerless beauty in our first continent. You are so ignorant of pity and cherishing jade, you want to die. The handsome young man with golden wings gave a cold smile, and Haki said boundlessly. The golden wings behind him slowly stretched out, as if trying to deter Li Zan his incomparably powerful aura completely enveloped the area for miles around. That is, the hall of this South Blue Immortal Island is extremely magnificent and huge. If it were changed to other places, I am afraid that it will definitely be damaged under the impact of this breath. His words fell, and he didn't forget to turn his head to look at Zhang Jingyi, whose pretty face was extremely cold and livid at the moment, a look of flattery flashed in his eyes. This guy looks very extraordinary, but he is actually a dog. Li Zan made a preliminary judgment on this handsome young man with golden wings. That's why you want to kill me, what an arrogant guy, Li Zan smiled softly, with a hint of sarcasm. 
Then, he continued to speak calmly, Today, what if you take action against me? Do you think that with a peerless beauty like Fairy Zhang Jingyi, you can be attracted to a bird-like monster like you? At this moment, Li Zan's voice is very soft, but his words are extremely sharp, with a hint of sarcasm. The moment the words fell, I saw the young man's face with a pair of golden wings suddenly distorted. His name is Jin Bubid, and he is the leader of the younger generation of the Golden Winged Dapung clan. His strength can be described as incomparably powerful. As early as countless years ago, he had already reached the top of the Daluo Golden Immortal Cultivation Realm. Even if it is the second continent where the Golden Winged Dapung clan is located, his strength is enough to be ranked in the top 10 of this generation of young powerhouses. And that pair of golden wings, it is not impossible for him to gather them up on weekdays. The reason why this pair of golden wings is manifested is to show the extraordinary and powerfulness of his own race. But on weekdays, he is the most taboo to be called a birdman. Today, Li Zan mocked him like this, which can be said to have completely angered him. At this moment, Jin Bubad's face became extremely gloomy. He stared at Li Zan and said coldly, Boy, you are courting death, setting up a formidable opponent for the family behind you that is absolutely invincible, I will definitely kill you today. The words fell, he then shot directly again, and a giant hammer like a thunderbolt appeared in his hand. This giant hammer is very extraordinary, exuding a taste of destroying the world. This is a supreme level magic weapon, which can instantly kill people invisibly, and its greatest effect is to summon thunder for its own use. Now with the appearance of this giant hammer, this handsome man with golden wings, Jin Bubid, is shrouded in thousands of thunders all over his body, like a thunder god descending to earth. There was a vast and majestic killing intent in his eyes. You are such a domineering person. You were the one who provoked me first, but now you are like a victim. You dare to attack me again. You really don't know if you live or die. Even Li Zan couldn't help being a little annoyed at the moment, his brows were furrowed together, and he was also rising up, a vast and majestic bottomless aura, which instantly swept the aura of Jin Bubad's body, scattered, not falling. I just said a few words to that Zhang Jingyi, and it wasn't Li Zan herself, but Zhang Jingyi who took the initiative to chat up this month. I didn't expect to be targeted like this. Women are indeed rosy. He sighed slightly in his heart, but Li Zan had no fear, what about the golden winged Dapung clan? In his eyes, even if the lord of Hongmeng world is still alive, if he dares to shoot himself, he will kill him together. It's just that at this moment, it has caused such trouble now, which really made him feel very dissatisfied with this golden winged man. Before waiting for the young man with golden wings to shoot, he saw a cold arc on the corner of Li Zan's mouth. In the next instant, his figure disappeared into nothingness and saw the scene in front of him. Even though the handsome man with golden wings fluttered and was wrapped in thunder, his complexion couldn't help changing slightly. He secretly thought that it was not good, he wanted to take this opportunity to show some hospitality to Zhang Jingyi, but at this moment, it seemed that he had hit an iron plate. Before he could react, a palm explored out of nothingness and shrouded his head. He wanted to dodge, but he couldn't move as if he had been immobilized by 3.7. A vast and majestic terrifying aura mixed with the danger of thunder's destruction, advancing out of nothingness, locked him firmly in place. It seemed that as long as he dared to move him, he would immediately be torn apart by that huge palm. Gold is not bad, is it? If you dare to take action against me, then you must pay the price you deserve. I don't care what tough race you come from, or what tough old guy stands behind you, but today I want to tell you a truth, that is, if you provoke me, even the lord of Hongmeng world will not be able to protect you. Li Zan's figure slowly stepped out of nothingness. The look of indifference in his eyes was fleeting, and his voice had a taste of dominating the world. Thank you for reading this story at mtlarchive.com. Your support enables us to keep the site running.